Yeah, he doesn't even really address it, does it? He just kicks it up. Well, what he does now, what he does now is like um, he, uh, the show runs right Monday morning or Thursday morning, whatever, and then when it's over. Uh, he says, you know, all right, now we're going, here's some music picked by Andrew Thimelis, followed by a vintage episode also picked by Andrew Thimelis. So, like, he did a whole piece, <clears throat> we were talking about cancel culture a little while ago, he did a whole piece on, on cancel culture and then um, played a song and then Thimelis picked an a, a episode from, like, two years back of him going, like, yeah, I don't see it. I don't, uh, yeah. I never run into, I got the same opinion that he had of it like two years ago where yeah. like it's, there's a few people bitching about stuff and, but also it's like you said, he's a comedian, man. He lives in the world of comedy where you're you and the only, like your higher ups, that's where the canceling really comes from. It's always going to be, you know, from fucking, I'm going to move this camera again because I still can't see you. Oh dude, I just fixed it. Like hmm. just by great. <laughs> That's how you do that. Now I can see your face. Um, anyway, whatever he's talking about, dude. Like they were talking about, uh, he did one on, you know, um, on George Floyd right after it happened. And then Demolis picks, uh, you know, picks one from fucking four or five years, bra four or five years back. Fucking Michael Brown or yeah. fucking uh, oh, he tries the to stay with the Skittles. Trayvon Martin, you know, yeah, <clears throat> he just, yeah, he's picking stuff so you can hear. And Bill Burr is full on, like, unfiltered, and I don't mean like in the edgy way. I mean, just this is who I am right now. This is how I feel right now. I felt different last week, and it's always different. Yeah, you get yeah. mad at me if you want to, but fuck, dude, like, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. Nobody, you know, when you can start getting mad at people. You can start getting mad at people whenever they go like, this is how I think, and I'm never changing my fucking mind yeah. ever about anything, ever. Then then I'll then I'll get mad. I ain't mad now. <coughs> I don't get mad. I never I get mad. you don't. I, I, yeah, yeah. You can have me back to work. I, I laugh at them. I'll sometimes. say in the headphones, you sound like you're like down the hall a little bit. Do I? Yeah. Is it echoey? Yeah. Is it, that's probably because there's wood underneath this Like there's a drastic difference between our mics and, and yours. Yeah. Yeah. Different mics. Different mics. <laughs> it's a drastic difference <laughs> in the mics. <laughs> well, I'll try and maybe it can, I can't hear anything. Yeah, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Check, check, check. Hey. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. The difference yeah, between these it. and those and make them sound uh, the right way. Do yeah. you guys sound great? Yeah. That's all that matters because y'all cool. are probably. I don't really hear you in my headphones. So. Can't hear me at all? all right. Yeah, you just sound far away. You sound way further. The better? It's a little better, yeah. Malcolm. Yeah, yeah, yeah better. that's better. Talking like right there to hey, yeah, it. Uh, the voice of God. I'll just, yeah, I'll get back down low like this. Yeah. Or you better? can just tilt it up a little bit and be regular. <laughs> you think, will that hey. help? Will that help? Oh, damn. Did it make it worse? I don't even know. It didn't really do anything. Let me get you some headphones. Right? Put something in the comments. I know I need it. He doesn't adapter. have the adapter to plug him in. You got oh, an adapter shit. in your car? No. No, I left no. it at home. I don't. Yeah, I want you to go get it. Yeah. 45 minutes away. It's not that far. I'm going to adjust this video again. Sorry. Just going to make sure I can see both of your fucking faces. Also, this is a forced perspective because you two guys are so much bigger than me. <laughs> so I've made myself substantially bigger. <laughs> this great. It's like John, when uh, John Stewart was debating um, Bill O'Reilly. He had the the rising um, podium. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking dope. All right, let's do a podcast, man. Uh, let me get that right there. That's what I wanted was them seconds of audio. If you tell, if I tell just about anybody, hey, give me three seconds. Yeah. Let me get this background noise. Inevitably, it's like, all right. Yeah. yeah. We, oh, God. <laughs> Imagine working with Pepper. Yeah, well, I've had Fuck. Pat Powell on the show twice, and it's like Pat. All I need, I just need just to get be to, quiet for a second. Just, th just three seconds, yeah. man. Ricky goo 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 goo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Pepper. that fucker, man. I'm like, damn. I miss him, dude. I haven't seen him in a while. What's he up to? Um, I saw him at uh, Pat Powell, where you a few, at? Uh, few weeks back. Yeah, I saw yeah. him at the Celtic like three weeks ago. Yeah, so he's just doing, still doing the Pat Powell thing. 
Yeah, man. I made a meme out of Pat. He had some fucking like steampunk looking goggles on, sure. and he had a fucking butcher knife. He was in the kitchen at the Celtic, I think, or somewhere yeah. like that. And he's looking at the camera. And I was like, "It's okay. You still get your abortions done in Alabama or something." It was right after they passed <laughs> some legislation, and uh, thought it was funny. Thought it would hit. It didn't. The meme game ain't strong. Yeah, I think over I, here. Like, I'm convinced that fucking Pat Powell is a fucking uh, vampire. He's got something. He's got something. Because he's looked the same since I've met him back in '03. Yeah. It's yeah, like he's strange, man. Strange cat. Are we going to do two episodes? Or you want to do one? Or are we doing two? two we just do one long one. Just do one really long one? Yeah, sure. We do one like me and Pepper did the other, the other about a month ago yeah. or so. Um, we'll just do like the beginning of a bunch of Rushmore. It's kind of like every guitar. Yeah. Every song I know on guitar. Yeah, that's what we, we did like on the first <laughs> fucking opening. <laughs> the opening. It's like, oh, Rushmore of Thomas's? All right. Uh, uh, Tom Brady, Rob Thomas, uh, Thomas Lennon, Thomas McCormick. I don't think Tom Brady. I don't, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I know you don't. But I mean, you're talking <laughs> I meant about to say. I swear, opinions. I was getting ready to say I don't think Rob Thomas counts. Ah. But I said Tom. Jonathan Brady. Taylor Thomas. No, I just think that that Rushmore of Thomases is applied implied. The beginning is implied. The, the name, the first name, the first right. name. Sure. You know, are you good enough to tote the name Thomas around? So it can't be a last a name. It has to be a first name. What's that? So it's not the last name. I don't name, know. I didn't name? fucking do it. That was that was <laughs> a month ago. I still ain't finished that, that list. Uh, what's you have to ask some Thomas Soul in there, man. My dad's name's Thomas, but he's not on the list. No? No, he sucks. Yeah. I don't know him that well. Let's <laughs> <laughs> bring the whole room down. <laughs> oh, Where is he? Buddy. <laughs> Can hey. somebody find him? You want to hang so out So you would later? think like the one black guy would have that story, but I don't like my father. <laughs> I, I, I know him, so... <laughs> I wouldn't. That, who are you calling you? Thomas Lennon. <laughs> how about how about you just let me be controversial here, bro? You let are controversial. <laughs> controversial. I'm already fucking halfway down this cup of coffee. We ain't even started. That's this a big ass cup yet. of coffee, as he well, mentioned before. It's not. It's not huge. I mean, if you drink a lot of coffee, dude. Well, yeah, you do drink a lot. I of drink coffee. a lot of coffee, man. You might as well just start putting a straw in the fucking pot. I have this big giant fucking. I don't know what it's called. A carafe, a car- That's not a word. Is it? No. Nope. Car- carafe. I don't know what that is. I think it's that big thing that they serve coffee in. A that pot. Thing. If you go to IHOP and you fucking tell them you want coffee and they bring the thing, they happen to set it down on the table. It's like a thermos. I think it? that's called a carafe. Interesting. I don't know though. You're making it up. Maybe. Let's, I think it's called. <laughs> Let's a start making up words. <laughs> yeah. And just throwing them into the podcast. Yeah. Anytime you and you could have said together, anything right there. Next time we do a show together, I'm gonna fucking just write down a bunch of words to work in. Of, of fucking rando nonsense words. Hey, you never know, man. It, like three years after that, it can be in the dictionary. Def is in the dictionary now. D E F. Yeah, yeah, Ain't, it should be. Ain't is now a word. I remember in in, in that was growing whole, up. That was the reason we. That was yeah. the reason people said, like, you know, that, that's not a word. Yeah, that's not. A, you know, ain't, ain't is not, not a word. word. That's, that's like what. That's in like the preamble of your English book. Ain't yeah. is not a word. Yeah, if you were born fucking you know eighty or later. Yeah. Uh, or really any any night any year in the eighties, guaranteed when you were in school, that was a talking point. Yeah, I guess. yeah. Was down word. here it was because everybody uses it. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. ain't ain't a word and I ain't gonna use it. Was what all the teachers <laughs> said. You probably had that on a fucking t shirt in elementary something. school. You need to get t shirts for Rushmore made with that. On yeah, it. just irregardless is a word now. Oh, oh Jesus yeah, Christ, it is. that was added. That's the next Rushmore uh, for you guys, then. That's my next suggestion. Words that shouldn't be words. Words, words that weren't words that are words now. Worst words that aren't words, words. weren't words. But now, like twerk. Work is that? Yeah, it's a word. That's in the dictionary. What is it? Twerk. Oh, twerk. twerk. Yeah. I thought you said twerd because no. everything fucking was rhyming. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is a twerd? Um, twerk is mm-hmm. is twerk selfie. There's a bunch that were added yeah. to the Webster's dictionary. They just. Uh, they just, they just, yeah, I'm gonna say they're just adding whatever. They're just like, fuck it. Who's doing that? I mean, we got You got. We got problems. Well, if it's getting pretty big in the in the in the um, pop culture, yeah, pop culture vernacular slash lexicon slash whatever we want to call it. Yeah, sometimes like, like I said, deaf word, like word probably has now has another meaning added to the word that was already in the dictionary. Yeah, that that word can mean be a synonym for okay now. Word. Yeah, word. 
That was one of my favorites. I should look. We should look that up and just to see if they added that. Look it up. We got time. We can always. That's what's great about this. Like, oh, we gotta, can fact check if, on this if one. If you got oh, yeah. pee, no, I mean not not if we're only doing one. If we're only doing one and it's and it's yeah. uh, cross up stuff. Cross up stuff. I don't know. Yeah, because there's no uh, fact checking on Rush. We gotta set some fucking rules, no man. Fact I got checking. some things I want to talk to you about, dude. About to me? some fucking network building and yeah. uh, putting together our own little thing. Multiple brands involved. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. I don't think uh, I saw you posted something about podcast networks or something what's that you get uh you get opted did you some people reach out maybe yeah <laughs> yeah some, some reaching a little bit um i don't know we've had some uh some sponsor issues so we talked about outsourcing that my sponsor mm-hmm. issues i mean uh roman the dick pill company what did has they do not paid us yet oh really oh, you already did ad? We did. oh we did three well, let's just do one we have for, a contract let's do one for hims right now yeah then. i was about to say i'm calling blue chew tomorrow <laughs> yeah right anybody need uh yeah. dick pills blue chew or hims or anything but roman um uh, although i think our link is still active yeah they haven't paid us so they can go fuck themselves do you guys get a uh get an affiliate marketing kickback for that yeah we get both yeah, so they pay like. us for the reads and we get a kickback yeah but they haven't paid us for either that's lame. Yeah, they fucking suck. Audible paid us. They're a great sponsor. Go to audibletrial.com <laughs> Dude, slash Rushmore. Rush, Rush, Rush. yeah. I live on fucking Audible. Audible's a great. You can get three free books if you use our fucking link. It's too late. I've, I've been a, yeah, he's a, a member custom already. Start another, custom. start another email. Oh, you need to <laughs> email address. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, has anybody do it? Like, that's got to be a thing, right? There's got to be somebody that's extreme coupon clipping or something that yeah. is also just once a month making an email address. Yeah. Why not? Only do problem that? is, is you have to put in uh, uh, your card info for each yeah, one. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. So to start your free trial, you still have to put in mm-hmm. your card. So they might just charge your shit twenty times if you try to rip them off. Yeah. Okay. That's the issue. But I mean, you can still cancel before the. Uh, you know what you don't. Hey, Audible, don't listen to this part. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Sign up with our link. We will get paid for it. And then you can cancel your shit before all the 30 days. Is, all they want doesn't is affect anything. They want their traffic, stuff, man. They that's just it. want traffic. That's all they want. You so, think so? You think yeah. that's it? Oh, yeah, 100%. They're in the retail. So you can sign up, cancel that shit. They will not charge you anything, but they will pay us. That's bullshit. <laughs> they are in the retail industry, dude. They're selling things and trying to get some money. Matter of fact, in. what's stopping me? They're not me? like us. They're not a podcast. Yeah. They're not trying. They don't just want They don't traffic. want attention. They don't care. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's stopping me from just doing it a bunch of times and getting really fucking rich? Yeah. I know what's stopping you from getting rich off of it anyway. Yeah. The, the fucking minuscule amount you make off of any Amazon related affiliate yeah, marketing. That is true. Yeah, it's not a uh, lot. Dude, you know what? We've had an Amazon affiliate marketing account yeah. set up for fucking four years since we've been doing this thing really? together. Yep. And uh, we've made about eight bucks off of it. Okay, well, this is more than that. <laughs> well, so, he's the only one that I know. Like, I know about Teespring and I used to push that. The Teespring one, but yeah, I didn't yeah. know about the, the, the Amazon. Uh, it, there, there's yeah. nothing to push. We had we had a bunch of different affiliate codes. Yeah, Audible I know pays us. Doing it doesn't matter. They pay us fifteen bucks every time somebody signs up. But yeah. Roman is supposed to pay us several hundred for a oh, read, damn. and they have not paid us. Ouch. So. I mean, we're in contact, but the Liars. dude, uh, we, nah, we, that, man. we hey, outed Roman, them. Are you listening? Yeah, we we'll outed them on our light, uh, our, our last episode and Pepper like read the email chain and I was like, we probably shouldn't do this, but <laughs> he just read uh, the whole thing. I don't see why yep. that's a problem. I don't, I mean, I guess not, but every unless fucking they, email from them started with apologies for the delay. We're so sorry. This took so long. In, sorry. In, getting in, back to, it's they, like, if they send I'm you sorry. some kind of cease and desist or something, then that's one thing. But other than that, dude, yeah. you can fucking say whatever you want. Pay us. Read that shit how you want. Pay, Pay these us. guys, man. Send them their money. Pay the Pay fucking us. Rushmore boys. Yeah. Uh, Update on pre- uh, previous subject. Used to express the agreement. What's that? Word. I told you they added. Oh, yeah. They added a definition for word. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, Full circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Word. I can get on with that. Word. Yeah. Used to express agreement. Man, what they do? Watch fucking Lethal, Lethal Weapon Three or something? Word rigs, <laughs> word Raj. What, what the he goes? What the fuck are we talking about? Goes, you know, word. Word it starts with a W, ends with a D, or in the middle. He goes, oh, that word. <laughs> fucking nineties comedy during an action movie. Time. Dude, they could say anything. They were fucking. They, they could have been talking about anything. That's not even really. That like, funny. I really want. Joke. I want to see Mel Brooks because I. Mel Brooks can get away. That was Mel Gibson in that movie. That wasn't Mel. Brooks. Yeah, it wasn't no, Mel no, Brooks. No, 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 no. I want to see Mel That'd Brooks. Been a better movie. No, I want to see Mel Brooks do a, a spoof like a spoof today. Because everybody weapon. keeps saying that Blazing Saddles wouldn't be able to be made. I think it would be because like Django got made. So yeah, I don't think I don't think that's enough. That's yeah. That's all. That's all part of the same category yeah. of bullshit to me. It's like if something right. can't be made, that's fucking already. 
um, hyper, you know, hyperbolic. Yeah. It definitely I just can't see be Mel, made. Mel it can't uh, be made. The, the question is, around. will it be backed? Yeah. Will people be scared will to you, fund it? Will to you distribute get a go it? picture? Will you yeah. get a budget on it? And then will people? If it's Mel Brooks, yeah, I think people will back that one. Are people going to shoot and so. freak out? Nobody, about nobody it. shies away from Twi- um, Quentin and Quentin used nigger and um, Django 165 dude. times. Yeah, dude, is it more in Django or more in a Hateful Eight? Because it Hateful Eight, dude, I think it might be 200 plus. I think somebody counted that one up. Least it's favorite Quentin Tarantino yeah, movie. Hateful yeah, Eight, I'm wrong. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Both y'all are wrong. It's a good movie. No, no, no. It's it's fine that you're wrong. No, that's it's a great a, fucking movie. It's a good movie. <laughs> yeah, it, they're all great movies. Yeah, they are. They're all yeah. great movies. Yeah, that's dude. at the bottom of my list. One of the greatest filmmakers of all time. He's got eight. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, it's the worst one. Yeah. That ain't saying <laughs> nothing. You know, it's the worst blowjob. Oh, yeah. okay. Wasn't um, Once Upon a Time in uh, Mexico, number nine? Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, Once Upon a Time. Mexico's yeah, Brad Pitt. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood's yeah. Brad Pitt. Yeah, the one with the one with They're both Brad Pitt. That's the one he's talking no, about. No, Once Upon a Time. Oh, Mexico is Brad Pitt. Once Upon a Time in Mexico is uh, Robert Rodriguez and Johnny Depp. Right? Oh, Brad Pitt's the Mexican. The Mexican. Yeah. yeah. That's about the gun. Right. That's so strange. That he's the Mexican. <laughs> it's like Tom Cruise is the last samurai. It's like, wait a minute. Well, technically, the Mexican is the gun they were looking at. The, yeah. the, the, the antique. Oh, well, fuck me. I didn't watch the I movie. That, that is a shit movie. Well, so. yeah. Yeah. Samurai is actually still, I mean, that's not an ethnicity, right? Yeah. Right? I mean, we're talking. You know about, what? I'm the racist here. I, the fucking, just turn it on me. Everybody's yeah. racist. I just got a haircut. What's man. in the box? Seven. Let's talk about that one. <laughs> My buddy Pete comes up behind me. He's shaved head too. He's had it forever. He comes walking up behind me at work the other day, and he's like, "Hey, dude, you get your Doc Martens yet?" I'm like, "Nah, but we got a lot to talk about, bro. I got to tell you some shit." Cancel uh, Doc Martens. They're not doctors anyway, dude. I don't even right? know a doctor named Martin. Right. Um. Let's do. Let's do Rushmore, man. Let's start this conversation. Let's do your fucking. Let's do this pod. Which uh, which uh, which topic are we gonna go with? Uh, let's sequels? do them both at the same time. I don't care. It's yeah. not my thing, Rushmore. <laughs> every time, any, every time I've ever been part of a Rushmore podcast, I always assume that I'm gonna like grab a hold of the reins a little bit, and then I realize. Every time I grab the reins, like, oh, these aren't mine. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first time we recorded together, you were like, I'm glad you are saying this shit on your show. <laughs> Not ours. I didn't mind. I don't, I don't mind. I'd air anything you say, dude. Yeah. I'd always air anything Wow, I have say. some That's... things to spit out. Go right ahead. No, I'm just right. kidding. You got any uh, cameo requests or any yeah. kind of fucking... <laughs> say this, Thomas. What's yeah. the weirdest shit I will say ass? anything. Like, if you, I mean, like, if you cameo it, I'll say whatever. It doesn't really matter. Because, like you said, you can't really be, if we were going to be canceled, if that was a thing for someone at our level, then uh, we have an episode with Mark Norman and we did our Rushmore band words. Yeah. And we said every one of them. Yeah. On the show. And so that's 12 different words you're not supposed to say anymore. And we said them probably 10 times each. Are there any that I don't know about on that list? Because 12 seems like a lot to be banned, right? That's what I'm saying. And band's a strong word. But you remember when, like, it's, 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 yeah, that list is good. I I think it's wild, though, and it always has been. Like, the seven dirty words you can't say on TV, George Carlin's bit. Like, he did a bit about the bit and about how tits shouldn't even be on the list, dude. Like, tits? Sounds like a nickname. Yeah, and some of, exactly. Hey, and some of them were pretty toots, harmless. Some of them were like, I think right. one of them threw out like fat or something, and about how you're not supposed to use fat, you're not supposed to call people fat anymore, and they had a whole thing back in that. So they weren't. The? It's not. It wasn't a rush more of slurs, which is I it's think just, what people go to. Yeah, it was just a rush more of okay. shit. You're not supposed to say. Like anymore. retarded. Well, yeah, that, can, retar- that can be that can be a slur, there. but we're retarded. It's like now you can't say even use in the context of saying somebody is slow. Right. You yeah. can't use retarded. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting though, right? Like how that happened. Yeah. The, the, how that happens is real simple, you know. Retarded was a medical term, and then people started using it in, As, in yeah. the shittiest way possible. Yeah, you know. And then the medical world said, "Fine, fuck it, take it, take retarded. You guys can have it." We're we'll say. Go. Mentally handicapped. Yeah. Challenge. Yeah. Mentally yeah. handicapped. Something of that nature. Which and seems now you way more demeaning. Like, Hey, what the fuck are you, buddy? Developmentally challenged over here? Like, <laughs> like, it's the same thing. So it, oh, it's, it's just fine. like with the vegans wanting to get rid of stuff like uh, saying stuff like bring it home to bacon. What the fuck kind of weird shit is that, yeah. dude? Like bring I it home to that, bacon. I saw that list. I, I yeah. a joke. It's got to be a joke. No, 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 no. This is real life. Yeah, people actually feel that way. Satire is going to die because real life is funny. Words. Go ahead. Keep going. 
Words are hard. I'll handle the audio of you. If I reach over here and look distant for a second. People put way too much stock account. in the words. Yeah. Intent should be the only thing that matters. Words are just fucking words. Intent and context words. are everything. Yes. That's in fucking subjectivity and objectivity. You not latching on to the crew. They don't like this. I don't like it either. Also, stupid. Yeah. Like, fucking dude. It's, it's, like, I have to explain I think it's the some... computer. I think it's the computer and the phones that have us all acting like this. I think well, that's has got it. It's, it's, it's being able to... Make your you can fucking team up about anything. Office is better than it's always sunny. Fuck oh well, you. hey, fuck well, you. Hey, you know it's, it's all subjective. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's pretty objective. It's I don't really watch sunny. either. So I'm, here's I'm, my coffee cup. I'm already at a table. Fight me. <laughs> oh, that's why I have to explain to somebody. It's like everybody that uses the term nigger is not always racist. They use the term nigger because they know, okay, if I say this word, this is gonna piss this person off since he's pissed. Like now. Some of the people who use it use it in a in a racial t- uh, way, but a person might say "fuck you, nigger," and they might not be racist, but they know it's gonna piss you the fuck off because it does. It works. It's like if you want to get rid of a tool, oh, I, hear really, you. I hear if, what you're saying. Yeah, there, I get what you're saying. But I also think like I would say most of the time, if you're, if you're gonna <laughs> oh. say it to be shitty, yeah, and that's something that because like, dude, I can say fucking twenty things about both of y'all and just be a dick yeah. without no. pinpointing that. So, but he, so I'm just saying in true was, anger though, in I true, yeah, yeah, in true anger. That's true. Yeah, you'll throw yeah. any punch you got. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah. but you know, this part it's like it's like this. I don't have anything else, so let me fuck this guy's life up because that's not ten. He's gonna hit me now. He's gonna go to jail. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, not every. Don't get me wrong. It's like oh, I'll hear it wrong. Don't you fucking tell me what <laughs> you hear it. Of course, the first place you're gonna go, but not every person that uses it, I would say, is racist. Sure, but somebody like, shitty enough to pull that out of desperation just try to hurt somebody oh. it's probably just as shitty as a racist right. I don't know <laughs> right like, I'm not denying yeah. Yeah. I'm not I get denying the shittiness of the person yeah. that I'm not denying I'm just saying, saying I'm not automatic but Louis C.K. Right. had the whole bit he's like I've never called a gay guy a faggot he's yeah. like I call you a faggot because you're being a faggot yeah. <laughs> he's like yeah. 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 it's yeah. not a homophobic thing and there's a guy, also there's I'm pulling from Louis C.K. for moral superiority here. Yeah. he's not a bad guy I love that guy by the way I saw him live in Mobile a few months ago right before he taped that special yeah he's so fucking good it's one of the best hours I've ever seen oh, yeah, man. I've seen he's most headlining comedians I would say in the country at some we point went to that show now I'm remembering that show being sent to where we were gonna yeah. go to that show yeah. we talked it was about so that good yeah man it was so fucking good Joe List opened He's really fucking funny. He does a podcast with Mark Norman. Bring it back to him. him before. I know him he has a new special him. out uh, this week on YouTube. Okay. I don't remember what it's called. That sounds Look real that familiar. I'm probably, I've probably seen some of his stuff before. He's good friends with uh, Bill Burr. He runs in that same like kind of New York, Boston circle. So oh, he's maybe that's where about I've him. heard him yeah. talk about him before. I'm sure. Do like Bill Burr's friends because I listen to the Monday Morning Podcast yeah. now twice a week. All of his buddies feel like I, I, I know all them yeah. already too. It's weird. But yeah, Louis, not- Louis Hour is fucking great. It's time for like Dave Chappelle and Burr to do like a piss off America Dude, what's tour. What's going on? Yeah, well, yeah, Rogan like, and Dave had some dates together. Yeah, that, they, got, they got canceled. Rogan's yeah, canceled want, everything. That they show. moved them to later, and then yeah. Rogan's canceled all yeah, of his dates throughout the rest Orleans, of the year. Yeah, that too. We yep. didn't. Well, it got canceled. It got we canceled. probably still wouldn't have. But I think the, ticket, the tickets were starting out like three seventy five or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, Dave's man. doing a uh, a comedy camp right now. I don't know if y'all have seen that. No. no. It's, he's got a, um, he's, cause he has like a big farm in Ohio. Yeah. And he flew a bunch of comedians out and they're basically just performing for each other. It's just comedians performing for each other and so helping each other out and punching each other's shit up. But it's like Adam Ray's there, Donnell Rollins, obviously, uh, Dave Chappelle, Tiffany Haddish, uh, just a bunch of fucking, I think Chris Tucker stopped in, even though I think he's, uh, He's one of the Epstein guys, so he might be a little under the radar. Yeah, he's, on, he the, really? he's on the flight logs. Ooh. Chris Tucker went a bunch of times. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, man. I haven't even looked at those logs yet. Somebody, sh- somebody shared a uh, – that's one of the memes that really got me the other day. Dude. Is Tom Hanks really on that fucking He's not on the list? log. He's not on the log. I was just about to say that. That's crazy because he's like the number one guy people go Everybody after, Tom loves, Hanks. Yeah. Everybody loves to call that motherfucker a pedophile. Yeah, man. Relax. It's fucking movement-based bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Team he's stuff. not on the it's list. The same, he's not on the flight same log. Same old shit. It's like – did you see? Did you see when? Uh, all right, so him and his wife got got uh, Greek citizenship. Yeah, and everybody's like, like, oh yeah, they've been traveling to Greece there and fucking uh, yeah. since they got together. <laughs> yeah. since before they got together, it's yeah, one of their fucking they're saying one. like they don't have extradition. They do. And, and they, they actually do. have one of the longest standing U.S. Oh well, that's even dumber. I saw somebody. I saw somebody that was love conspiracy theories, bro. Yeah, I saw somebody Dude, that was everybody. sharing that and trying to act all fucking woke and shit, and they're like, he got it in Greece because Italy doesn't have extradition. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead fucking serious. I was like, wait a minute. 
Yeah, wait, uh, wait two minutes. I literally felt so dumb reading it that I asked my wife. I asked her. I was like, hey. I was like, Italy. like Just to make sure. No, I, literally, I swear to God, I asked yeah. her. I was like, Greece is a country, right? <laughs> I was like, Italy and Greece yeah. are two different places. Don't you hate that? She was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, stupid. I'm making sure I'm not that fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you guys are clipping. Yeah, well, clip these nuts in your mouth. Oh, maybe. Oh. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. Oh, it's getting I ain't spicy. Rolling, I ain't rolling nothing painful. out. Oh. I know that. Clip these motherfuckers. Ah, fucking right. white people in their kinks. Yep. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> I need to get some. I'm gonna. I need you, some new kinks. I don't really kinks? have any. Yeah. What's I need like my thing. Get you that you I need. I want. Shamed yeah, for. I want somebody to be like, man. What's kink? Thomas now, really likes it when you shame, not worthy of kink shame, right? Like, because you. I don't think you should kink you, shame anything. Well, of course not. Right. AP. Dude, I'm not shaming nobody, man. Y'all are the two. Y'all brought up Tom Hanks. <laughs> okay, going, you know what? If your kink is children, <laughs> yeah, yeah, shame, shame on you. Shame, <laughs> shame on I'm you. I'm gonna fill this coffee Yo. cup, fill up these jaws right here. I'm yeah, <laughs> Malcolm, tell me what I should be into. Y'all keep talking. Um, Have a good time. Yeah, tell me what I should be into. I'm not the person for that. Like, don't get I think wrong. you are not, the person for that. You're I'm like not, the most sexual person on Facebook, bro. I'm. I. I am. I am the most extreme vanilla that you can get. That's not true. Yeah, I, dude. Outside of eating ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty that's fucking, pretty vanilla these yeah, days. Pretty, yeah, 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 that's pretty fucking basic. It's funny. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine yesterday while we were eating crab legs. Uh, my boy Ro, and he's um, kind of messing with with this girl that I've known since high school, and I know she's like hella freaky. So he's like, "Yeah, she's telling me she wants to try new things." I was like, "If this chick says she wants to fucking try new things, be afraid, because this chick is all she's yeah. one of the fucking freakiest chicks I know." And she wants to try, like, what's she gonna do? Put you on a fucking roaster over a fire while she's sucking your fucking dick or some shit? That's pretty yeah. vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> that was the episode of Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny, they did that shit to him. Dude, it's like, when you hear, that, that's, that's when you kind of like perk up a little bit. When you hear somebody who's hella fucking freaky say, I wanna try some new shit. No, that makes me wanna perk down. Bitch, Link you've had the fuck three out. dicks in your booty. Run. Three? In the booty? I've seen, I've in seen triple anal. I've seen it. Oh, I've never man, seen that. that. Sounds... Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, no, no, I would never do it. More power to that chick, dude. Yeah, man, I don't but... think I could take three at once. There'd be so much <laughs> friction burn. You would think with the dudes, not with her. Well, well, they don't care in porn as long as the shot looks good. Oh, okay, we're well, just talking about porn. I thought you meant like in personal. <laughs> oh life. no, 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 no. Yeah, but no. Like you're not getting paid. There's no, no cameras. She's just like, I like this fucking Tuesday. Let's get three dicks in my ass. Yeah, <laughs> no time like the present. Yeah, that's how you start a fire. Yeah, like the booty. Yeah, dude, rubbing sticks together. That's what I'm talking about. Automatically, you get it. that's, that's yeah, part of the reason. Yeah, you throw some flint in there, we got a fucking problem. Yeah, but you see Smokey the Bear in the fucking corner and shit. He's shaking his no, finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we are oh, yeah. on video. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, no one can see that. It's going to be on audio, too, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're not watching Say the video. Say no to triple anal because it causes forest fires. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> guess, uh, that's funny. Is that a is that a sketch? Is that a thing? It can be a thing. Smoky, Smoky's list of new uh, new new warnings. No, just warnings. Warnings. Uh, warnings. Yeah, things not to do. Yeah, don't do that. Don't stick <laughs> your your dick up against two other. Dicks. Or we could just take Mitch Hedberg's out there and do smack it a frog. We need our own forest fire prevention representative. Yeah. for the podcast <laughs> network. Yeah, I'd like to get a mascot. Yeah, right. Why not? What, what would the mascot of Rushmore be? Uh, like a, like a wallaby. I'm how trying to a, think. Like a wallaby. <laughs> how about <laughs> something a, cool? A hippopotamus that's nah. campaigning for local office. That's not bad, but that's Always. a that's a character from Harvey Birdman, wasn't it? Is it? Yeah, Attorney at Law. I don't know, dude. That's one of the greatest shows of all time. Y'all not watch Harvey Birdman? I've, no. I've I've never watched it. What? I've seen I've seen all the I've seen. I know everyone loves it. Oh, it's just so one of the fucking ones, good. man. It's that's so one, good. Of the, one of the many, many things that I've. That's like my middle school fucking. I watch way too much shit, dude. Between catching up on anime, catching up on new TV series, reading freaking book series, it's like, dude, it's kind of hard to catch up on everything these days. Like, well, books are overrated. Like, Nobody should read anymore. I yeah, want to make that announcement. Nerds. No more reading. Well, I don't read. I listen to audio books. Okay, books but, are for nerds, dude. Yeah, books are for fucking nerds. Yeah, paper and paper and inks. Yes. Audible.com slash Rushmore podcast that's the, reason, that's the reason thunder mifflin went out of business dude yeah exactly i mean not only was it a shitty show but they were fucking printing paper <laughs> they did uh they did an episode like that daryl daryl's looking for uh or andy and dwight are looking for uh looking to meet some loose women and yeah. daryl talks them into going to the bookstore 
but y'all go to the bookstore, man. Try that out. And they're like, really? The bookstore? He's yeah. like, yeah, man. Vintage. Dude, it's fast in there. Like, look, hey, uh, what you reading? Oh, cool. Can I show you what I'm reading? Damn. Dinner? Tonight? Sex already? And they're like, is that easy at the bookstore? <laughs> He's like, yeah, man. And then they cut to the talking head, and he's like, I made a New Year's resolution to read more. I just needed a ride so I could eat my sandwich in the car. <laughs> yeah, now that you break the script down, The Office is definitely way worse than Always Sunny. Oh, no, dude. Man. <laughs> we should watch it together. And just Office is good. Up. I like The Office, by the way. Oh, For man. the record, I am a fan of The Office. Because the, the world needed to know that. Everybody's, yeah, everybody's just needed everyone just so to know. know. Put that, write that down. So I like you, The Office. Did you guys already have a nerd fight over this on, on, on the uh, podcast? We just, it no. kind of organically grew yeah. into a thing where yeah. he knows I like this one. I know he likes that one. Have a showdown, I don't man. know who threw the first punch. I it think, sounds like something I would do. I, I think Probably. we were doing an episode together yeah. and you brought up Always Sunny and I was like, yeah, I don't watch it. And you're like, well, mm. what the fuck? And I was See, like, that, I that, that, like you just referencing that when you said it yeah. like hit me wrong this time. <laughs> Like, you're talking about how you said it forever ago, and I was like, ah, oh, well, that's what weird. a loser. It, you know? <laughs> Get a friend, loser. Yeah, you but- guys have a nerd fight, and since I, I've never, I've never, I've watched episodes of each, mm-hmm. and I've never binged either. I'll be the, I'll be the mediator. Yeah, well, it's going to be a lot easier to binge The Office because it got canceled, and Always Sunny's still going on and has been for like 16 years. Very. No, I can still, I can still like binge it up until the point until we get new episodes. Okay. Yeah, and what, what I like about Always future. Sunny too, since it's on FX, it's probably going to be less episodes per season. It's like uh, I think for a while it was ten, and then it bumped up to thirteen. See, that's, that's a Netflix show, yeah. So you, you can you can binge those easier. The Office is what twenty five episodes a season. Mm, it depends. Depend. Like I think season four had like. Uh, 14 episodes or something okay. really short. Because usually when it's on net, uh, network television, there's always 20 to 23 episodes. Right. You know? Yeah, you get picked yeah. up for the whole thing. Got a yeah. slot Got a slot to fill. Let's do let's do a fucking podcast, dude. Let's get on a get on a countdown of some things. Who's going first? What topic are we doing? I don't know. Rushmore. Sequels. Bad sequels. ones. Bad, bad sequels. Yeah, bad sequels. Worst I'm, sequels. I did, for me, again, what constitutes bad sequel is... The first one's got to be great. It has to be phenomenal. Yeah, it yes. has to be a top I, it, bad follow. Yeah. Like I, biggest yeah. discrepancy, biggest fucking letdown yeah. to something that to, to greatness. You know, okay. bad worst like, follow. If you could put it in a I sentence, think all the things that we're gonna like, say. The two movies would be the best and the worst of that particular topic. Like this is the greatest this movie of all time, and the sequel is the worst um, this movie of all time. Kind of like Caddyshack. All right. Is that that's your number four? Is Malcolm's uh, going first? That's where we're starting. Well, if we're gonna start, uh, I would start. You said we can. We don't have to talk about movies. No, you pick whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. I, I went would... all movies, uh, just because I came up with my picks on the way here. Yeah, but so I didn't think about it too much. But we don't. Yeah, have I'm to still go working on mine right now. Yeah. So. Well, I, it's, it's, it's crossed my mind just because I was such a huge fan of the first game. Story wise, the gameplay was like fun but clunky, but story wise. I've never been more immersed into a game, and that was the, the original Last of Us. And complete honesty, I hadn't played the second game, but I th- I have watched a 10-hour movie of the game, so I know the context of the story and yeah. the, the story points. And that sequel is definitely on my Rushmore's worst sequels of all time because you go from one of the greatest games. In- this was my most anticipated game since I beat, the- I beat it the first time in 2013. Yeah. So I've been waiting for part two. They finally put it out seven years later. All right. I don't buy the game, and this is my this has been my most anticipated game for a decade. Just because of don't get me wrong, I started with the leaks. Like the leaks basically took me off the game. It's yeah. like I'm not buying it. Fuck this shit. I don't like where they're going with this. And then when you get the actual game and people put out the actual story. Again, it's a 10-hour fucking video. I was like, how can it be worse than the fucking leaks? So, my number four is going to be Last of Us 2. Yeah, I hated how they added all that like pedophilia and stuff and showed all of it real graphic. It made me not want to play it. Didn't they touch little kids in that game? No. I've never played the first one. <laughs> <laughs> what is that game about, zombies? Basically, it's about... Okay. <laughs> I really have they, never they played it. They took a realistic uh, stance on it. Um, they used the, uh, the cordyceps virus, uh, the cordyceps fungus that insects get. Yeah, the get. mushroom? Yeah. They ba- it, it basically moved over to humans. Mm-hmm. So, that was, their, that, that was their, 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 their antagonist. But you have to deal with all... Like, 
basically the breakdown of society. It's post it's post apocalyptic for the most part, so you still have to deal with shitty fucking humans. Plus this, and the first game did that so well. Second game was like, fuck it, man. Let's let's go ahead and push some identity politics into this shit. Yeah. Let's give us let's give some un um let's give us let's give some representation with no um with no substance. Gotcha. Just to say, just to get some fucking brownie points. Because that's what's hot right now. And then you have your game journalist. Like ga- uh, gamers hate the game because, like, right now Metacritic it has like a fucking like a f- like a four or five. Critics all gave it tens, hmm. like tens and oh, nines. Oh yeah, because they're yeah. yeah because yeah. But you look at a game like Ghost of Tsushima. Critics love the game, but they 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 downplayed it for the simple fact that they 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 wanted to make Last of Us look better. So they said this game is beautiful, all this good stuff, but it's cultural appropriation. What the fuck are you talking about? People in Japan love this fucking movie. It's sold out everywhere. You can't go buy the game right now. So it's like Last of Us was just a fucking big disappointment, and yeah, it's gonna be my number four on um on my rush one. Did you play them? Neither Last nor. of Us. Neither. Neither. Yeah, I'm, Neither. I'm, I'm, I'm nor. begging them to play. And them now, first. now I'm, I'm, I really am. I'm getting to a spot where, like. It's one of them's a 10, 12 year old game, something like that, right? One well, it came, yeah, it came out. Last of Us One was the last exclusive to come out on uh, PS3. Three. Um, three. Okay. Yeah. So there's that. And then there's a sequel that has some, has a, enough of this wrapped around yeah. it that, like, I don't know enough about the first one to give a fuck enough to play the second that makes one. Sense. And then we're also constantly discussing this fucking dynamic of this game. And mm. like, I don't know it, it, that this, these are the, this is the, the cancel world that, that this is why everything's compartmentalized in terms of what's canceled for you and what, the, what should be and what shouldn't be. Yeah. Because the only people that are even into that at all are either people that love the game, the first one, and are blindsided by, uh, blindsided by something in the game that they don't like, right? Right, or uh, people who just fucking lock in to this thing, right? People who just focus on this uh, this anti anti cancel culture, yeah. which turns itself into like another. You you end up being in a spot where everything has to be okay no matter what. Yeah. You know, everything has to be okay no matter what. There's 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 two two sides to that coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and like for there to be such a discussion around the game, it's like I got Red Dead, Spider Man, fucking I'm waiting on the next uh Horizon. Like did you yeah. play Horizon uh, one? Did you nah. play the first Horizon oh game? My God, dude. You got your PS four now, get on that. You wanna get and there's a I have it. It came with the PS four. Came with the bundle. Start yeah. that yeah. shit. Start that motherfucking yeah. game. See that's the thing is I've been I've been out of games for so long, yeah. like out of the gaming Welcome world. Back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, the, my last system was a PlayStation Two that Jeez. I lost in Katrina, and then like three or four months ago, I got a PS4. Wow. So I haven't played in that whole gap. Years, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, all I've played is like Madden with friends, like out on their shit sure. or no fight night. So well adjusted, buddy. Me. I so got I a copy. Yeah. <laughs> I got a copy of. Uh, in fact, in the description, at least on on our on our link, uh, I got to write that down so I'll remember because I never do this kind of shit. But I'll make sure that all of our gamer tags, all our PS4 gamer tags, are are in the thing. Okay. Fucking come find us, dude. Come find us and play some games because I'm gonna give you a copy of uh, Red Dead before you leave. Yeah. And uh, that's yeah, a fucking in. blast. And that's the thing too is like I get now that it's I've GTA, got back but it's in Cowboys. Now that I got back in, I'm like, it's so easy for me to pick back up on sports games, on Madden and on yeah. UFC 3 and all that shit, and get really fucking good at them yeah. really fucking fast and not actually have to be invested. Yeah, the so control then I fell dynamic into the, hasn't yeah. changed so at then, all. Exactly. So yeah. then I fell into the hole just playing those all the fucking time. I haven't actually ventured out and played anything else yeah. since I got it. Like, I, I got uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. I got uh, Horizon. Love that game. All kinds of shit, yeah. and I haven't touched them. They haven't been opened, and I've had them for like four months. You'll dig Horizon. Grant GTA is amazing Dude, too. Horizon man. is one of my like right now. Horizon two is my most anticipated. I game. can't wait. Yeah. Man. yeah. I can't wait. I'll for play. That. I'll play the UFC game and Madden, and then like me and Tara will drink and play fucking uh, Injustice for like two hours straight, yes. and that'll be about it. Yeah, that's good shit there. Yeah, dude. That's, that's fun shit. Fun. Really There's a lot of shit Justice. talking on those. Yeah, man, uh, I got the Mortal Kombat. 10, I think. I don't think it's 11. I think it's 10. Is it the newest one? No. No, then 11. It's 10. Yeah. I think 11 is the newest one. Is that right? See, I don't know. Last Mortal Kombat game I had was that fucking was genius, Trilogy. Buddy. It just is what it is, yeah, buddy. That's I had, how numbers work. I don't, I don't know if there's 12. I don't know if there's a 12 out there. Oh, my God. 
Uh, yeah, I played Mortal Kombat Trilogy a lot on 64. If we want to talk about 64 games, that was my shit. It had everybody yep. from all the fucking games. The last the time, time I was good at a Mortal Kombat game was Mortal Kombat 2. I used to be a beast on yeah, that game. Yeah, 2's fun. Was that on, uh, they had two on Sega Genesis. They, they had two on Sega Genesis. I don't think I'm good. Um, I don't think I'm really that good at uh, any super. competitive games at all. Really? I don't think I'm, there's nothing out there that's, that's competitive that yeah. I, the fucking, that I wear, that I went in. Yes. If we're online, I'm losing. See, and that's what online. I love about. I can't about, fucking beat nobody. That's what I love about like UFC and Madden too is like, it's such a short, like it's different variables every time you play it. It's not the yeah. same fucking thing. And then once it's over, it's just like, all right, throw away. I can fucking move yeah. on and Forget come back and start match. fresh like it's over with. Yeah, if we're playing any fighting games, any kind of uh, racing games, sports games, anything like that, I'm fine with sucking because there's a yeah. there's an end to it. But if I'm going to sit down for some fucking session and play Apex, Call of Duty, any oh, kind of shooter, yeah. I'm going to play Battlefront. We're going to go yeah. fucking climb, you know, climb out into the stars and, and yeah. shoot blasters. Well, if it's Battlefront run, 1 and we're playing Droid Run, yeah. I'm a beast. Yeah, I'm there's a certain beast. certain little things that yeah. I found my, my found my uh, found my niche in, yeah. too, like uh, Rogue Squadron on Battlefront was, 2. Oh, fucking, well, never mind. Oh, man. Talk about two different killer. things. Because I was about to say the last uh, – I was I got real excited when you said that. Because the last Star Wars game that I played was Rogue, Rogue Squadron, Squadron on 64. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a mode fucking, in the new yeah. Battlefront now. I love Road Squadron. Yeah, that was a great fucking game. That's fun. There was a fighting game on, um, I think it was like PlayStation 2. It was a Star Wars fighting game. It was like that. Street Fighter style, but with, with a Star Wars skin. I can't remember the name really? of the fucking game, but it was pretty badass, man. Hey, look, since we're going to stay on video games, let's keep the Rushmore moving. Right, go I'm uh, going to start with a video game, and I, y- nobody's going to agree. Nobody in the world could agree with this, I don't think, because I know it's a quality game. I know uh, it's really good, but... Coming off of Ocarina of Time, uh, Majora's Mask just let me down forever. Oh, I'll see. Majora's that. Mask fucking let me down. I, I disagree. Just, yeah? I mean, I, I love both of them. Yeah. yeah. I, I love think they're both, both cool, and I think yes. it's a very interesting dynamic, but the, the, ga- the what the fuck could live up? What could live yeah, up? Yeah, I'm about it's to say, as far as it's yeah. not as good. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's the game's fault. That's a, great, yeah. that's a great game, but it's not Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, Ocarina of Time is number one. It's the greatest game of all time. Yeah. Yeah, I'll fucking say it. I'll, I'll, fight. I'll, I'll make that statement. Dude, I have, I have, I have for that team. Link even if Zelda I'm... and Ganon tattooed on my body, dude. So yeah, yeah. Ocarina of Time is... on his butt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, there's there's not really a whole lot to say about that because it's just a personal thing. Again, it's not the game's fault, dude. It's still it's this got us totally different see, games. See, yours is not control. because it was a bad sequel. Yours is because it, it was it, like I, I was let down. Was, yeah, yeah, it was so big. Yeah, and then you go into this, and then a lot of the things that it like it got it kind of became a headache in Majora's Mask having a oh, like, yeah. set time, all this stuff. It's yeah. like having I to put that. on different maps. I, I thought it yeah. was it was a it, cool game. It's but, a cool idea. But it, it, I just don't like that, like anything, as much as you can't come out. That should have just left it the way it was, dude. Wait for the next console to come out. You spit out Ocarina of Time yeah. and say, just wait on a GameCube, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking play your 64 and wait on a GameCube because that uh, Wind Waker... Was dope. I thought it was incredible. I thought it was fucking big. Open. Only thing I didn't like about Wind Waker was the their 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 choice of uh, animation. Yeah, it was kind of. I weird. love the story. The story because they gave you wasn't um, it like super cartoony. Yeah, yeah like, that's that, that's the yeah, one was like, very yeah. very pen and ink. Yeah, super fucking what is it? Two D cell shaded. Like yeah, everything's one solid color. There was no Pretty fading much, in yeah. light at all. Yeah, it was dope. That's why I love Twilight Princess because Twilight Princess felt more like Ocarina for me. Like Ocarina upgraded to another uh, console. Mm. You got a pick? Caddyshack 2. Caddyshack 2? You threw it out earlier. Yeah. That's why I thought you were starting. Then you didn't go with it, but we were going to have Everlast. That's all right. That's all right. So awful. It's just, a, it's just a bit higher. It's so awful. <laughs> it's pretty fucking bad, It's dude. so fucking bad. And the first one's so good. That's- yeah. ah, hey, I'm going to throw this out there. First one uh, doesn't hold up that great. <laughs> really? No. No? But first viewing, I'd love to get that back. What about it do you think not not holds up? Look, I think that this, is one, this is one of those things, one of these discussions where that goes without saying one of the biggest lets down letdowns from uh you know part one to part two situation that's a fucking terrible uh follow up yes right because yeah, yeah. caddyshack is what it is or was what it was at the time right. whatever the fuck what but now we can just have what what don't, what, what doesn't hold up about caddyshack well, the first just some thing. of the I, I don't know it's just it's very dry a lot of the comedy, which is good. Dry. Yeah, I mean, which is it can be good. Yeah, that's but right up my alley. So I, that's maybe that's yeah. why it holds up so well for me. I love yeah. it. I'd watch, we watch that shit right now. As soon really? as we're done, let's kick it on. I would, love a, I would love a British like a British remake of Caddyshack. Yeah, 
just because like a lot of a lot Racist. of the kind of comedy is 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 is, <laughs> is super fucking dry. So it's like who yeah. does yeah. dry comedy better than the fucking British? Yeah, it's all. I mean, it probably has a lot to do with like Chevy Chase has such a shitty reputation now too. I don't like him as much as when I was a kid. Now I'm like, yeah, oh, this guy fucking sucks. Yeah, what did he do? Didn't he's he incredible. Do? He's just an asshole. Everybody says Nobody he's like the biggest grumpy. Nobody, Nobody wants to work with him. Yeah. yeah. He's there was, always there grumpy. was a famous Johnny Carson episode where Richard Pryor was on. Like, Richard Pryor hates fucking Chevy Chase. Yeah, yeah. so does Bill and, Murray. Dude, you can, you, can, you can see the tension them sitting next to each other and shit. Dude. I love that story about him shitting in, uh, in Ted Knight's. He's shitting Ted Knight's trailer on the set of Caddyshack. Oh, really? Yeah, and he let Ted Knight blame it on Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, man. <laughs> like, so, with Ted Knight, well, Rodney was just a stand up, right? Rodney's like j- uh, yeah. pure, pure stand up. Yeah. That's the first feature. That's the first time he's ever in a movie that he didn't understand the rolling of sound. He said he, the, the first shot that they did uh, for Rodney was. Um, you remember So What, So Let's Dance? <laughs> and he pulls the fucking and Journey starts playing out of his golf bag, yeah. right? I love to dance. Anyway, um, that was going on and nobody was laughing because they're rolling sound and he like he cuts. He's like, oh, oh. he said he went to Harold and was like, fucking, I, I'm, I'm dying out here. I don't know. He's like, nah, man, nobody can laugh, dude. Look at the crew. They're all like wiping their tears of laughter <laughs> away. But we're rolling sound. We can't, nobody can make any noise, you know? So he didn't get it. So because of that, because of his lack of experience, he uh, was very method, right? He was, he was very like his own kind of organic style of right. method, method acting where he was just going to treat Ted Knight like shit the whole time they were on set yeah. because his character didn't like uh, Judge Schmales, yeah. you know? So, well, I mean, the word is he did so many in the early days on SNL. He did so many pratfalls. Uh, Chevy Chase that his whole his body's just completely fucked like his back's fucked up everything's fucked up I can buy that and he doesn't treat it so everybody's like oh he's just always in fucking pain so he's grumpy as shit and he's miserable to be around because he's just always fucking he's hurting pain pills and shit no I think the pr- the thing is is the word is he doesn't take anything he doesn't he just deals with Man, it they said and then no he's just excuse. in that fucking asshole who it's not the, an excuse who made the joke about Chevy Chase back in the day no junk no soul Oh, I don't know. I can't remember who fucking said. Where's that from? Somebody in comments. Uh, fucking scream it out right now. I mean, yeah, Christmas yeah, Vacation is the Chase. greatest Christmas yeah, movie right. of all time. No junk, it's, no yeah. soul. Christmas Vacation is the number one greatest Christmas movie of all time. My extended family, we watch. Uh, we watch uh, Christmas Vacation right after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like once we we eat, we put that shit on, and they can they can fucking quote the whole fucking movie. Yeah, we yeah, we rewatched Vegas Vacation not that long ago. It's not very good. It's not. <laughs> it's not that good. Good. I like European Vacation. European's love, good. Um, the first, the original's good. Yeah. Vacation. I think that uh, the newest the, one that just came out. Of oh, the yeah. Oh my god! You yeah. put that on my list. Put that on my list right now. That one's real bad. Fucking huge failure. Fucking huge dick on Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, that's right. that yeah. motherfucker's got, got a, log, a fucking man. hog on him. He's got a fucking hog yeah. log. It's both of those words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he uh, talk about being Thor in real life, man. Man, yeah. Boy, got a hammer. Boy, don't let him get a hold of you because you'll be Thor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Mike Tyson would be proud. What's your number three? He is. He is. Oh, proud. they just canceled that fight this morning. No. Roy yeah, Jones? Mike Tyson, Roy Jones. They're gonna have to postpone it because of COVID. Yeah. Which one of them's got it? Neither. They just they won't let them have let it them in that. They won't uh, let they, them have it in that arena. Okay. Yeah, and plus, and plus, like you want to look at the fact that they got like they're getting a pretty big paycheck. So yeah, make it work. They they, they want people in that fucking um, that yeah, arena. Make it a thing, they, yeah. want, they want that gate money. Did you watch any of the uh, the UFC empty crowd yeah. fight island stuff? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You do a live tweet. Yeah. Huh? You live tweet the fights. Yeah, I have oh, a I have an active streak, man. I haven't missed an event since April two thousand seven. Wow. Yeah, since Matt Sarah and GSP. Uh, yeah, oh, well, I know GSP. I yeah, yeah. Matt, Matt Sarah. Sarah upset him, won the title, and then GSP yeah, came back and okay. shot him. So you I remember, remember the one? I watched that sure. at Pasco La Buffalo Wild Wings. I have not missed a single event since that the, day. The last, um, the last UFC fight that I watched with any kind of like, oh, I, I, I know at least something of these two care, these two uh, fighters, and give any kind of fuck, yeah. or at least build up on the way there. I, Tito Ortiz versus one of the Shamrocks. Yeah, Ken. They fought three times. Fucked his fucking head yeah. up. Dude. They fought three Shamrock's times, and Tito fucked him up all three like times. Fucking bubble gum, dude. Yeah. He was destroyed. See, that's before two thousand seven. That's like two thousand four. Yeah, that's early. That's 
early years. Yeah, yeah I don't fucking remember. Yeah, that's, that's when, early that, shit. That, that's that's UFC. That when you know Congress is still talking about a man calling a fucking yeah. human cock John fight McCain. And shit. Yeah, John McCain started that. Called a human cock fighting. Tried to get the whole thing shut down. Yeah. Dude, I, that, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Really? First of all, who gives a fuck? Dude, so it's John McCain's fault. Yes. Cancel culture. Yes. Human. He started fight. this. Well, you gotta shit. remember, like when you talk about uh, cancel culture, dude. It's like the right has been doing it forever, from rock and roll. To Everybody's fucking been porn. doing it. Well, what I'm saying is. The right, we laughed at the right, but the thing about it is, the left's doing it now, and they're getting results. That's the difference between the the, the two cancel cultures. The left is actually getting fucking results. You're getting people, you're getting people taking off television for saying a word fucking ten years ago. That's crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so rest in peace, Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, fucking making your call now? No, nah, she just, just because of the yeah, they killed her. Her career. Nah, she'll be alright. I hope so. She's be, she's done actually. Enough. She's a, she's because there's yeah. because there's not another one because there's not another one because nah. there's not another her. She took, she took she's Oprah's enough spot. of her own brand. Hey. Yeah. Exactly. I swear to God, just, yeah. maybe that's why because of where she's she is. Bold prediction: Oprah. Kelly Clarkson's the next Ellen DeGeneres. Ooh. No. Yep. I think she'll be good. <laughs> it's bold. I'll say I'm, that. I'm no, 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 no. She's it. I, I, she's the chosen one. Because they're already <laughs> talking about bringing in James Corden, and James Corden has a very Ellen vibe. They should bring but in the problem is Eric Andre. Uh, James Corden has the same legend as Ellen. Basically, that he's an asshole, so he might have the same issues yeah. as Ellen. But James Corden already has that kind of crowd. Like he's a daytime. He's more of a daytime host than he is a nighttime host. Is that the guy that does the corporate yeah, karaoke yeah. guy? Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. watched him in the Food Fighters the other yeah. day. That video, the video of them doing carpool uh, carpool karaoke. Yeah. Fucking that great, all started man. with fucking George Michael. Really? Like the first carpool <laughs> karaoke was Rest with George Mar- uh, Michael. So like, um, he's the original Rushmore. Rest in peace. Is he? George Michael, yeah. No way. I swear to God. Damn, dude. I know. This is fate, man. So you guys started 2016? 17. 17, okay. Because 2016 when we lost all, like, like From the time like that George week, Michael died. Yeah, no, I don't mean he died and that was our first yeah, rest yeah, in peace. I mean, he's we so we do every episode, we rest in peace, random people, most of them aren't dead. Oh, okay. And he was the first one we threw out because we were talking about how yeah. handsome he was. Well, that's what it is. That, that's just a pretty motherfucker. Pretty that, motherfucker. From the time that he died to the time the first Rushmore was aired... Nobody else of any, nobody of any higher importance yeah. died. No, he's number one. Right. Number yeah. one. Right. And then after that, you can start making the list. But yeah. As long as we, yeah, fucking moment of silence right now for, uh, for George Michael. What you think? Never gonna dance again. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Yeah. I think I got that on MP3 somewhere on the computer. I'll fade that in. Yeah. That makes your computer run faster. You put Careless Whisper <laughs> on that motherfucker. Everything's a little smoother. What's the band that did the cover of Careless Whisper? Seether. Five, five, Seether. Yeah. What was it? Oh, I was about yeah, to say um, Five Finger Death Punch. Garbage. <laughs> that's a fucking <laughs> trash can of a band right Are there. They? Five Finger Death Punch? Man, First of all, that fucking... change it. Change your name <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Terrible fucking name. Get rid of it. Second of all, just stop. Playing music all together. It's that's so two, bad. That's two things on the uh, on the on the list now. Yeah. You got any more instructions for them? Third, kill yourself. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Sorry. Four. I hope you're okay and it didn't that's work media and you survived the <laughs> suicide attempt. Yeah. I hope you suck at suicide too. Yeah. And then four. Try again. <laughs> you gotta get those motherfuckers out of here. Yeah, man. You gotta, oh shit. You know, get good at it if you're gonna Damn. pick yeah. a hobby. Probably just makes perfect. Oh. Well, all right, my, uh, my number three, my number three, I guess I'm going to go. I'm with pulling him out, come I got to pee. All right. <laughs> my next one's going to be Last Jedi, man. Yeah. Uh, last... <laughs> <laughs> he walked away for that one. <laughs> the last Jedi. Okay. My opinion on Last Jedi, um, when I first saw it, I watched it as the message it was sending out like okay we need to do some new shit we need you know get rid of the old shit the past is dead all this shit i watched it listen like and let that message yeah um mold my opinion of the movie itself (laughs) and then i watched the movie again i was like this is a fucking shit movie like there's not a lot of sequels that just says fuck the first movie like yeah they didn't just throw it all out yeah it's like yeah, the first movie didn't happen. This is a basically an origin story, and this is a like Ryan Johnson. Um, I have a friend named Ryan Johnson. I Sam Witwer. Not anymore. After that movie came out, oh, stop yeah, talking dude. to her. Yeah, we're not, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I haven't talked to him since well, high school, but 
Huh? Who? My buddy Ryan Johnson. Oh. <laughs> it's not spelled the same either. He's fucking it up for everybody. Yeah. But no, yeah. I think there was so... You know you're going to be a shitty filmmaker when you spell your name Ryan fucking R-I-A-N. With an I? Yeah. <laughs> fucking direct your own Dork. letters, you idiot. <laughs> um, so the after The Force Awakens, there was so much hype and rumors oh, yeah. about what was going to happen and so many fucking predictions about this is what they're doing, this is what they're doing. It feels like he saw all that and was like, all right, so now we have to throw all of those away. Even the really good ones that would have made a great fucking movie. Yeah. Let's throw it out and we're just going to just do whatever we can fit that people didn't guess. Yeah, we, uh, we've we been over the Star Wars thing here wow. so many fucking times. <laughs> yeah. and, but it, but it, it's a fact that um, that like they've fucking reacted to predictions. So you want to talk yeah. about reactionary studios? Um, I think it's George Martin, the guy that did Game of Thrones or is doing Game of Thrones. I don't know if he's done writing with yeah. that shit or not, but he no, said they're always going to guess eventually. But if, if, if they care about your property, if they care about the IP that you produce, then um, they're always going to predict it. Yes. Yeah. Somebody's always going to guess it before it comes out. Yeah. And your responsibility as a, as a, as a real fucking creator is just make the thing good in your Stay vision because it. that's what they want. That's what they love. Yes. It's fine. If somebody guesses the thing, yeah. Yeah. I want to, I mean like it, I've done they're it a guessing million times because, and I still yeah. love movies. Right. They're so, guessing it because they trust right, you to right. do the right that's, thing. That's yeah. the problem. You nailed it a second ago is that he continued to, like circumventing expectation became the 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 number one priority yeah. in that movie, and then plus fitting in shoehorning in this like let the past die yeah. mentality when like that's a cool fucking line that's a cool kind of like that there there was there were parts of that movie that I went like neat man those yeah. are kind of interesting ideas absolutely in a vacuum but this is the fucking saga dude this is the saga <laughs> film it's like yeah. just stay on the story here let's yeah. not try and create some this ain't even a speed bump it is a building that you put in the road of the Star Wars saga and he fucked everything up if you take that movie out completely and take the idea from where seven was going to go to nine and make a good piece in the middle. And then and you they, can adjust nine to fit it, but still be yeah. that. Go to, back to uh, Colin Trevorrow's idea for nine, the duel of the fate script. It was great. It was, it was fucking phenomenal. It was great. Yeah. yeah. It was substantially better than this. I don't know yeah. what would have wound up. Now, being yeah. great or now he, he probably, okay. His ideas were great, but he's not a very well, um, I don't think he's a good director. Cause I didn't like um, Jurassic, Jurassic world. world. I like the Ooh, idea of Jurassic, uh, Jurassic world, but, his execution of Jurassic World wasn't that great. Yeah. So you can have a great you can have great ideas. Zack Snyder always has up. great ideas. Does that need to be tightened up? Mm. That's good. I was right. like playing with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not talking about the mic, y'all. If you just listen, he's talking about his butt. Does it need to be tightened up? No, I'm just playing with it, bro. Uh, All right, what's your number three AP? Um By the way, not on my list, but fuck Attack of the Clones too. Go ahead. Yeah, dude. I'll take that one. Yeah. Shit on that. That's my least favorite. I'll take fucking Attack on the Clones over fucking Last Jedi any day. Not me. Won't do it. Last well, you know what? Maybe I will. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna go from now. If you go from just a story idea, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the execution that's terrible in um in all the pre- the prequels, the prequel, the idea for the prequels were, was great. I don't mind George the prequels. I'm in the exception here. Like, I don't think so. I don't. I don't. They're not. They're not. Well, no, it is still the thing. Of to the show. Show. Like I watched. You know, we watched last night, and this is. My, I mean, I fucking heads up for number one coming up in the everything that came after Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, uh, right. Dude. But we watched the first one in here last night again. And it's still, yeah, it still holds it's up. so fucking good. It's one of the greatest, most well put together. Mm. And that came out in 2003, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Dude, I while feel like the was... prequels were coming out, yeah. Pirates 1 came out. Yeah. And it's... So yeah, Phantom Menace is like 99. Even, even the CG it, in that movie yeah. is... is there's, a, there's a couple of times where you get some wonky CG, but the rest of it is this so beautifully clean... Are we talking about number three right now? Ah, uh, we talk about... We're talking about Attack of the Clones, really. Oh, yeah. And that's the problem with the prequels is a lot of people... Looking back, there that the the just the look, man, the tone, the fucking feel of them. It didn't feel yeah. like Star Wars. No, There's something about it. Tiger felt... Clones put me to fucking sleep. Yeah, I mean, like a, that's why that's why I'm saying because like even Lucas, I read the book um, how Star Wars took over the universe or conquered the universe, and basically during the the filming of the first three, the original three, Lucas said he had too many people telling him no. Mm. And so when he started these new movies, he said he won't. He, he didn't want anybody there that was going to tell him no. 
So when he made those movies, even though he had a great idea, this was all he was like, okay, I'm going to literally make these for kids. Instead of just looking at how the, the, the franchise itself had evolved, I'm going to force this into the hands of kids. Yeah. Even though my market is middle-aged adults. There's but I'm going to ignore that. There's got to be some, there's got to be some, like, uh, part of everybody that kind of accepts the idea that George Lucas, pretty, pretty good at making movies, uh, damn good businessman. Pretty good at coming up with ideas for movies, not so much making them. Call it whatever. Yeah. I'm saying, you know, like, he's fine at that. Yeah. The fuck if he ain't business savvy and oh, understand yeah. that, like, I'm going to make six billion toys yeah. and... That's the market. Like, well, that was like the whole. There's some, there's some fifty, sixty year old nerds and middle aged nerds out there that'll dig on this sci fi shit. Yeah. Like, you like the Running Man. You like fucking Logan's Run. Yeah. You like uh, Total Cannibal Recall. Run. You can, yeah, everything that runs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the runs. Like Chicken Run. run. <laughs> <laughs> you like? Do you have the runs? Yeah. Blade uh, Runner. Uh, Blade Runner. Damn. Keep going. Keep going. I'm Road Runner. Now. Road Runner. Damn. Oh, shit. Rat race. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it like well, that was know, a big joke in Spaceballs. Was the the branding for um, exactly? Yeah, yeah. That's because because he knows that, right? Yeah. I mean, Mel Brooks could see that looking exactly. at it because also great businessman knows what yes. he does. You know, knows well, that this is more about business. Yeah, he was like, we have fucking short cereal. There. They talk about that <laughs> yeah. in that book. <laughs> they talk about that in that book where George Lucas he um when Fox made um when Fox made the deal for Star Wars, they only wanted. The first movie. They're like, okay, if the first movie does this, we'll let you make a sequel. And you can have everything from it. So basically, Fox only laid rights to the original Star Wars. And it was only a uh, distribution um, thing. So not knowing what Star Wars was going to become. And they gave him all the rights to all the merchandise. Not because at that time, merchandising wasn't wasn't done. Not knowing what Star Wars was going to do when it came to the fucking box office. They signed a contract basically saying... We're going to take the rights to this first movie since we put the money behind it and you can have everything else that comes after. Yeah. That was the deal that was made in 19 fucking 75 with um, Fox when, when Fox bought the, um, bought the, when they started doing all this shit. So it's one of the, the, this is, this is a Louisiana purchase type deal that it wasn't a gamble. Absolutely. fucking Louis. But. Nobody could have predicted because nobody like. First of all, everybody who like worked on that film hated it. Fuck, like, like just the working environments because they they say um, desperation is the is the is the creator of um, necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is the, is I like the that though. I like that. that I like movie. I like the one you came up with. Better. <laughs> I'm gonna get some fucking podcast that T-shirts movie, made with that on it. Star Wars is the epitome of Des- that. Same. Desperation is the mother of podcasting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so yeah, George Lucas, he took a gamble and, and fucking paid off, dude. Yeah, man. Fox was like, yeah, everybody that was working on that movie, I do remember hearing about like them all laughing about like this is gonna be this, bullshit. Yeah. yeah, this is gonna suck. Speaking but, of Audible, go on to uh, uh, whatever your Audible Audible code trial. is. Com slash Rushmore Podcast. Boom. Get fucking How Star Wars Conquered the Fucking Universe. It goes through everything, the whole legacy of what Star Wars is. Yeah. Even George Lucas's original ideas for the fucking movie would have been, which would have been terrible. Let's, I really want to get more. Let's set up our own Audible and plug yeah, that, that for yeah. our shit. Yeah, we can start with this motherfucker. <laughs> right yes. Also, I'll let the white man take my money just for a little bit longer. Betterhelp.com <laughs> slash Rushmore online therapy. Yeah, Roman. Go to Roman. Nope. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck those guys. Get some blue shoes. Get some therapy. Blue Read shoes. Some books. Who else we got? Pure Let's Spectrum some CBD. Music. Pure Spectrum CBD. Oh, we got a. We have a. Uh, all right. So I'm not the brainchild behind this idea, but Pepper is playing this out. We have a whistling competition. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Up. Yeah. See, I'm I down. haven't really heard about it. Well, I mean, I <laughs> so, heard about it because I liked yeah. the tweet. Yeah. So you know? Pepper posted. He was like, he was like, all right. So I got a bracket. I got eight people. They're all gonna send him whistling videos. So I was like, all right. And I was like, he was like, do you hate it? I was like, I don't. I guess I don't really have an opinion. Like, do I'm you, cool with it. Like, we can do, do it. Hate yeah, it? I'm like, I don't know. It's I mean, off the wall yeah. enough to just be like, a guess, thing. And he's like, we're gonna have Pure Spectrum sponsor it and send him a box of fucking CBD. Whoever wins, I was like, how do we decide the winner? He's like, we just pick them. I was like, all right, we just pick. <laughs> yeah. You really thought this one out? That's so awesome. Yeah. How do you guys, uh, is that a question that comes up pretty regular between y'all? Do you hate it? Do you hate it? Yeah. Well, yeah. generally, what we do is we do something. Then afterwards, we tell the other person, be like, hey, man, I hope that doesn't suck. <laughs> like, like, I hope you're not fucking miserable with that. 
That's yeah. pretty much how it goes. That's where it all starts. There's a lot of playing by ear on the Rushmore podcast. Yeah, dude. That's it didn't used to be when we started. I'd almost write show out show notes and shit. Yeah, I'd almost write out scripts for my picks. I'd be like, "This is my pick. This is why. This is fucking notes." Did now that, did that for a couple years. Yeah, yeah pretty. We, we tried. We tried yeah. the show notes and never went that. Yeah, and now, yeah, now, now pretty often I'm coming up with my picks on the show. <laughs> If we uh if we do anytime we do a show where there's like one thing for sure we need to talk about yeah. Yeah. or there's a thing that I need to plug like fresh for Pets, yeah, yeah, right yeah. got to right. plug that shit got to right. get it that that that'll be written on a whiteboard and sure. on a wall somewhere well, but other than that dude I just I know I can talk I'm just off lazy the, it's not it's yeah, not anybody's too. fault it's just I'm lazy prepared. those are the best shows actually. and I know I can talk yeah. off the cup and and the cup the cuff and speak cuff. uh on the same level as Pepper I know I can keep up with him yeah and keep cup. With keep them. cup with Pam, yeah. with Pam, <laughs> Pamper, <laughs> with Pamper. Uh, I can keep up with Pepper, and we can bounce off each other. But where it does backfire, and we don't prepare, is when we have a guest on that's smarter than us. Oh, like yeah. we can had. You start waiting on each other. We had comedian Jeff Dye on, and I knew it was a red flag when we asked him to come on the show, and he was like, I "Already have my topic. We want to do mascots." And I was like, "All right." Nobody ever chooses their own topic. We normally send them suggestions. He's like, I want to do mascots. It's like, okay. That should have been my red flag that he knew some shit about mascots. And then the whole show, I'm just like, uh, yeah, the fucking that one that does this and he dances. And stuff. Like the dolphin yeah. they got and in then, Miami. I and like then it. he's hitting me. He's like, <laughs> and then he's like, okay, well, that this is the guy that's under that mascot hat. This is what year that was founded. This is what, like, he's giving me the history of every fucking mascot. And I'm just oh, there, like, you uh, pick it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like any, any of them. Crazy. Yes. He was like, I know, I know my fucking mascot. And he's just going on and on about mascots. I wonder if shit. he's been to that. I wonder if he's been to that. that he's met every. Mascot I know he's met event. every professional mascot in the MLB. He's met every single one. Get the fuck out yeah. of here! He has a picture with everyone. He at least has like a like a top half. Like like I collect toys. He yeah. probably like has a mascot head fucking collection of oh, some yeah. shit. Well, his whole mask collection and this whole mask thing is he has like a full, all out, detailed Mortal Kombat mask for every single character. That's so cool. So he's just wearing That's that everywhere. Badass. That is cool. But yeah, hey, Jeff Dodd, check him out. Friendship podcast with Jeff Dodd. Nah. That's his podcast. Nah, fuck all that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, I will, dude. That's funny. What's your number three? I want to listen to the episode with you, uh, that you guys did with him so I can just fucking watch you struggle. <laughs> I don't know, know that yeah. going watch in. Your right? Oh, my number three? I'm, now that no, I've no. had the, uh, I, t- I picked it. I'm yeah, gonna go with the Attack of the Clones because I can't. Okay, cool. I I didn't write notes and I picked them all at the same time and then I um, fucking didn't bring my notes in here. <sighs> well, here's the thing about Attack of the Clones, though. Nope. <laughs> it's number, awful. Number three. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, yeah. It's really bad. Uh, well, but the first, but the first one was very good. That's what you're. Yeah, <laughs> that is fair. While we were saying that, yeah, yeah. while we we're saying that, that's, that's I would true. probably pick Attack of the Clones over fucking. Uh, I'll take Phantom no, Menace. I'll take Phantom Menace first. Well, I mean, Phantom, Phantom Menace. If you take out the Darth Maul fight, that movie is wor- way worse than fucking Attack of the Clones. Yeah. Do you take out the Duel of the Fates? Yeah. There's nothing. That, there's nothing. That's true. I mean, I. I mean, Dumb and Dumberer. I've, oh. When Harry met Lloyd. Not Dumb and Dumber Two, which was also terrible. Dumb and Dumberer. Yeah, Remember yeah. the prequel that came out? When they were kids. Afterwards, when oh, they were man. Jim Carrey yeah. was not involved, neither was uh Jeff Daniels. Yeah. It was neither of them. And Does they were count? fucking kids. Was it a major re- the it was a major release? release? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it in theaters. Dumb and I'll never, I'll never yep. forget it. Man. I was like ten. Yeah, that's pretty I, it was I didn't fucking I didn't, bad. I didn't see Dude. it. I didn't they see were it. like I in special knew. ed classes in school and driving the short bus around. You know, it was a, just so on the nose and shitty. When a when a movie is so bad Call back to the word retard that a child at the time, is well aware yeah. that from the trailer, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. oh, that's fucking B class comedy right there. That's gonna suck. Yeah, like when you can recognize the quality in yeah. Dumb and Dumber, which is already its own version of to- it's like the best that, that kind of toilet flute. humor. Yeah. Sure, right? I mean, right, right, right. Absolute fruit flute. Yeah, I agree. It's brilliant, Agreed. low brow shit. It's yeah. brilliant, low brow. Exactly yeah. that right there. But and then it, when you can distinct when you can distinct the difference between that and then whatever any what, of this other fucking oh yeah. my God. Well, even Dumb and to, Dumber two that came out a few years ago it was so bad that was garbage. that was the purest example the of vacation. Jim Carrey Jim Carrey phoning it in like yeah. he just did not want to fucking be there that was so awful he just needed money you think yeah no well no I think he I mean just, like he's got money yeah I think it was just a say yes thing like let's just fucking whatever let's only get time it I with. laughed at Dumb and Maybe. Dumber two was watching the uh, the schmoes. Mark Ellis and fucking Christian Harloff do their review. Yeah. And the first, like, 15, 20 seconds of that review is the funniest shit you ever fucking watched. That you'll sit there and cry. Why? Because, okay, Christian's about to start, and then Mark just out of nowhere starts to... Ah! 
Oh, yeah. Most annoying sound in the world. Yeah, most annoying sound in the world. Still, and, though, a reference from the original. Yeah. And then they just start laughing because, uncontrollably. Because that idea in, during the, in the original, like, I don't know if anybody's, any of your friends have ever done that shit. Just like, make it, isn't that sound annoying? Oh, but it's so well, out there and yeah. weird that, like, that's what made it funny in yeah. the first one. Like, who the fuck does that? Oh, dude, Harlan well, Williams kind of in that movie. Like, 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 doing the, like, getting too close to your face while you fuck with me. Like, leave yeah. me alone. Like, yeah. just I'm not annoying. touching you. I'm not yeah. touching I'm not you. I'm touch- <laughs> not touching you. I'm not touching dude, you. the Harlan Williams scene in that movie where he's the cop. Oh. Drinking the piss. Oh, dude. And the second one? No, the first one. The original. Yeah. Where Harlan Williams pulls him over and he, he just peed in the fucking oh, beer yes. bottle. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. yeah he's like pull time, over. Man. He's like it's a cardigan, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they try to recreate that with the fart scene and the uh, dumber, dumber too, and it was yeah. just dumb, dude. Dumb and dumber, too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dumb and dumber is my pick. What's your number two? My number two. Uh, yeah, I'm about to piss some people off. Do it, do it. All right. In 2016, a remake was made. Rest in peace, George Michael. <laughs> Yeah, and most of fucking, a lot of fucking legendary celebrities that year. Um, 2016, 2016. episode two of the Rushmore podcast. Rest in peace, Gene Wilder. (laughs) Dude, Carrie Fisher, Prince. Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. Did he die that year too? Yeah. Fuck, dude, 2016 was like. It's brutal. Dude. That's not all the same year. It was brutal. It was 2017. Nope. I don't know. I know because I was working in Tuscaloosa when Ali died. Yeah, but if only there's no fact checking. Surrounded by racists. If there's no fact checking, and I tell you that, and I say, trust me, at least for the duration of this. No fat chicken. No fat chicken. Yeah, that's the rule. No fat chicken. Oh, man, you I'm thought it was fucking... fat chicken this whole time? Jesus Christ. No, it's fat chicken. Okay. No fucking fat chicks. <laughs> right. I was going to say, fat chicken has to be, that's a verb, right? Right. Like, yes. Yeah. No fat chicken. Where you chicken. going? Floundering? I'm going fat yeah, chicken. Drank right, too much right. and was fucking, I was fat chicken last night. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, number two. My number two, okay, a remake was made in 2016. I know and, what this is. Huh, a lot of people thought that the reason why you didn't like this particular remake because no. I know what of it is. vagina. It relates to Ali, by the way. Yeah. I'll tell you how. <laughs> Does that count as a sequel, though? No, 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 no. Okay, go ahead. This is the setup. So when people say, oh, you just don't like this movie because of vagina, I say, I hated the fucking second Ghostbusters movie as well. That's the one with the jacking off, right? In the second one? Doesn't he jerk off? No. In the movie? Or a ghost is giving him a blowjob? That's that's the first first one. one. First one. That's the first one. He gets gets head from a uh, female ghost in uh, Dan Arker. I feel like there's a take on it in the second one somewhere. It might be. Yeah, I feel like they try to redo it in the second one shittily. It's like, I've watched the second one a few times, but it still never sticks. I think that's in the, uh, I think that's in the, the, the remake, right? Don't they have like some kind of encounter with some hot doodly ghosts? We had Slimer on our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the, it was a ghost that took over. Really Chris, uh, the person that did. Yeah, was, Adam Ray. He does the voice Adam for Slimer. Ray. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's Slimer cool. in the 2016 one. Awesome. That's crazy. He taught us how to do the voice of Slimer on the show. It was really yeah, gross. Yeah, yeah, what did yeah, you yeah, learn? Yeah, right. Huh? I know what you learned. I can't fucking do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, Thought yeah. he taught you. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> learn. <laughs> Fuck it. <man. laughs> well, Ghostbusters 2. That's a waste. That's always my retort. It's like, you didn't like this movie because of Vagina. I was like, well, I didn't like Ghostbusters 2 because it was a terrible fucking movie when you look at... That's the Statue of Liberty one, right? Yeah. The second one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a... that's a, that, Like, they were both out already by the time I watched yeah, either I one like, of them. When I was a kid, and I, I watched them both, fine. and I loved them both. Yeah, yeah. I, as yeah. a kid, I thought it was fine. I haven't revisited it. You can revisit it. It's not that great. Yeah. It's, it's not that, but it feels like Ghostbusters. They, want- you can smell all over. It. I'm sorry, to cut yeah, you off, but you can tell all. You can smell it, dude. It's all over it. The reason why they uh, tried all these jokes because they were all just kind of rehashed jokes of the shit before it. But there's some there's some quality line delivery yeah. and some funny shit in there, dude. That little guy, that little fucking uh, Brad Williams. No, not Brad Williams. <laughs> um, the little guy, the fucking, the little uh, German kind of dude. Oh, yeah, the guy, the, the little, I can't, um, I can't even think of the name of the main he's a, villain. He's that, a curator, yeah, the curator in the, in the museum. He wanted the, the baby and everything. Is. That guy is. Uh, there are moments, but yeah, when it comes moments. to the first one, hilarious. to the second one, that movie was fucking garbage because the first one felt like a real horror comedy. It well, was it was it was it was directed in a different vein than the second one. So like, the even remake, as a kid, even as a kid, I didn't enjoy it. Goes, but it's like it feels like another movie because if I'm not mistaken, the first Ghostbusters was almost a rated R. 
if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Maybe. But the second one, you can tell it was it was. I think it got the real Ghostbusters effect because the cartoon came out that was really popular. So they tried to make the movie as close to the cartoon as they they possibly could. I think. But yeah, it just didn't have the same feel. It, it, like even the comedy, it's like you could tell it was like made for like merchandising. Well, the remake in 2016 actually came out the week that Muhammad Ali died, which is why I said those two were related. Oh, I know that because I was working in Tuscaloosa. Did he die after? Before. Fuck. I'll week of. Week of the premiere. How about, yeah, well, maybe gonna... that's why it sucked. Because Everybody was just bummed out. Well, that's the Muhammad thing. Is I, was in, I was in Tuscaloosa, and it was the summer, so school, Alabama wasn't in school. I'm sure some people were fucking there. But uh, it was like July or whatever <laughs> the fuck. And, uh, and I asked a guy. Ali died, and I was a huge Muhammad Ali fan. And they were re-showing the movie Ali in theaters Man. the week that he died. Heavy shit. That was a good one. It's a good fucking movie. It is, dude. And so I was like, I want to go watch. I was by myself, like on per diem at a fucking hotel. I didn't have shit to do. Fucking Tuscaloosa. What the fuck am I going to do? So I was like, I'm going to go watch Ali. And I asked this guy who I did not know that was working in this body shop. And I was like, um, I was like, hey, man, where's the nearest uh, movie theater? I want to go watch Ali tonight. He's and, like, what's uh, a movie no, theater? No, dude. It's, it's, I'm telling you. Verbatim, he was. He said, "The man, <laughs> I gotta put on an accent." <laughs> he's like, "Man, man, there's one right down the road, right there, only like a mile down." But I mean, you don't want to go to that one because uh, black people go there. Roll Tide. And he said, "Swear just to like God, that? just like that." Ended it with Roll Tide, like it was a fucking period on a sentence. <laughs> and I was like, "Well, that's exactly where I want to go." So go fuck yourself. And I went and watched Ali. Nobody was there, so I had the entire theater to myself. Literally the only person in there. That's Ali's funny. a long movie, by the way. You sit there watch it by yourself. You're like, "All right, it well, is a long movie. It's been yeah, fucking dude. three hours." It's heavy. Um, and the only then, time I don't see what, like this is that's the only movie that I watched that Will Smith isn't Will Smith in that movie. Yeah, he's definitely he's fucking he did a no, great he, he job. Murdered, he transformed. He that, that but um, up. so I watched that and it was great. And then I was bored as fuck later that week, and I went that Thursday night to the premiere of Ghostbusters oh. and uh, the female one. And again, no one was in the theater. Malcolm, and that I place is just a together. ghost town during the summer. Can you go with me to that? We brought the kids. We brought AJ and one of his buddies from down the road. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had the whole yeah, theater to myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I chuckled at some of the Chris Hemsworth stuff, and then that was the oh, end Oh, Hemsworth of it. was yeah. like the shining light yes, in that whole Hemsworth fucking movie. Hemsworth was good. I was Him like, and the other guy. What's that guy's name? The tall dude that like he only deal- delivered a couple of jokes. He's like owns the building or runs yeah. the oh, hotel yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Dry, like, he, uh, he's, he's, he's in like, all the Christopher Guest movies. Yeah, he's, he's in all those documentaries. Like, he's like in uh, Silicon Valley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that guy's... No, no, no. No, not TJ Miller. Talk about unfunny. I can't Jeez. think of the dude's name, but uh, <laughs> it's my T.J. Miller impression. <laughs> he's got a, uh, yeah, yeah. he's got a, he's got a one good bit that I've seen him do on stage, and it's not even a bit. It's I don't even think he re- hits for um, Ari's great. show. Um, yeah, this is what's happening. Uh, this, this is, is not, not happening. happening. Yeah, I fucking love that dude. That is a spectacular YouTube playlist. If anything oh, yeah. else, that's fucking phenomenal. Gotta, that whole it was show. better when Ari hosted it. Who's hosting it now? Roy Wood Jr. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's right? funny. Yeah, he's funny. But it's not the same. I show. haven't seen any. Of, is it? Yeah. Is it actually television? Is it on fucking Comedy Central? Yeah. Because I haven't had cable since. Yeah, all they did was replace Ari. Way before yeah, Ari anything. fucked up talking shit about Kobe. No, no, they replaced him uh, like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't. I mean, I've, I've never watched any of the like the whole thing in its entirety as a TV show. Yeah, I've yeah, only yeah. seen it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah I thought it was uh, something else on there. I, thought, uh, I think his name is Ali Sadiq. I just got introduced to him. Yeah. I think his name is Ali Sadiq. Some, that some is a comedian. Do. That's somebody. Yeah, the, uh, he, he talks about being in prison all the time. <laughs> ah, yeah, Jeff, uh, Jeff Dye, who we were talking about earlier, the mascots guy. He was on that show. He yeah. stole the jersey from an NFL player, and uh, <laughs> he stole it out of his house. They were Mark, at a, Mark's got Mark Norman's got one on there too, yeah. right? Yeah, Mark's fucking great. He's yeah. my favorite. What, what did Jeff Jeff Dye do? He stole a jersey from an old. I don't remember who it was. He was like a Chargers kicker. And uh, they were on like an island where this guy lives now, and at a party, and he stole him and Brant Tobler, another comedian. They stole his jersey and just left with it, and just fucking took it. Nice. And the guy was uh, sending them like all these fucking threats for lawsuits and shit. And they're like, "We're not giving it back." <laughs> and then he was like, uh, "And he like offered him a shit ton of money and blah blah blah." And he was like, "Nope, can't have it." <laughs> He's like, "You got to do some send cops our way because we're not fucking doing it." They just never went back. Call them, they just kept the fucking. He still has it. He shows. Us, he showed us the jersey on the uh, podcast. That's funny. Yeah, he still got it. He's like, "No, it's ours." We yeah, took what it. you gonna do? About and then he told it? the story. Yeah, kicker, on, then he told the story it. on Comedy Central. He's like, "Yeah, we did it." <laughs> He's like, "This is a story about how I stole Drew a fucking jersey piece on there about going out and tripping, doing a bunch of psychedelics and stuff with all his friends at these uh, electric uh, electronic dance festivals, yeah. sure. these fucking EDM festivals." 
Man, that was funny as shit. He's a man. What an underrated stand up Drew, Drew Carey is. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got oh, this yeah. fucking great delivery. He's just stacking he's so money happy. right now. He's so fucking happy he's while he's stacking on stage. that price oh, yeah. is right money. That's part of the bit too. Is he's yeah. like. Uh, we went out to these uh, electronic dance festival, whatever the fuck. This is all about my friends and the psychedelics and hallucinogenics. They did. Not me, because I'm the host of Price is Right. Everybody laughs. Yeah. <laughs> Later on, it comes up again, you know. It's... Big um, Disney guy. Yeah? Big Disney guy. He has a uh, some kind of weird, like, fucking Hollywood membership at Disneyland, where he's in all these upper echelon clubs there and gets, like, escorted around and... Gets in these like secret steakhouses and shit. See, that's the kind of career I want. Where, where yeah. I can walk around everywhere, but at the same time, I'm making like mad money. Like I'm making like super celebrity money, but I can yeah. live a normal fucking life. Low prices, yeah. right inside baseball. That will they spend? You know the will of death. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the number, yeah. it's never been that's a what place. It's called will of death. Same will from 1976 or whenever when Everybody they started. Hey, that's it. some good upkeep. Yeah, so they maintain it, and what they have to fucking do is they get two guys, and this is literally to make sure it's not rigged and shit like that. They have to spend it a thousand times. These two dudes, what? Really? they spend it one thousand times, and they have to write down every single number it hits. Wow, a thousand times, and then they Holy fucking shit, maintain dude. it shit like that to make sure it doesn't fall into the paid. same pattern. Hmm. And also, it's the only game show where he does not wear an earpiece. He has to memorize the every single fucking game. He has That's no crazy. producer. They, in his why ear. would they like to make sure that it's not weighted? But couldn't you just spin it f- with the same? Wouldn't you be able to use like? Some kind of fucking engineered, very, uh, very well put together machine. You would think that's so. calibrated to give the exact same push every time, You'd and then think you so. just run it from each number the way and make Drew sure that about it, it ends at the right. You know, like if I'm going to spin it three, three, it's and it's going to go seventy eight right. clicks around the wheel. Wouldn't it always go from like, all right, we'll move this one so it's going to end here. If I move it and start it here, then it's going to end here, right? Maybe uh, but fucking thousand times they're just creating jobs, dude. Yeah, I'm about to say. Well, I think what it was is that's how they started doing it in the seventies, and they just never changed. Somebody's it. nephew yeah, needed a is. fucking job, and like, come on in, bro. We'll let you grease the wheel and spin it a thousand times. We'll give you some Hollywood yeah, we're money. We're making enough money, man. We can just make shit up. Yeah, but yeah all game show hosts just keep a fucking earpiece. So the producers telling them, "This is how this game works. This is the rule. Make sure you tell them this." All that Drew's the only one that yeah. doesn't have that. He if memorizes you the whole him thing right now, dude. Yeah, he probably fucking give you the rundown yeah. on every game. He said he's never. He had never seen the show the day he auditioned for. He had never. Watched that's it. a crock of shit. Yeah, that's Everyone what he said. Has Everybody's seen the prices right. Price right. Yeah, he's a lion. Yeah, fuck. you had a You're fucking grandma, Drew. Drew. Yeah, you <laughs> watched the prices right. I had a grandma. Yeah. We watched that shit on channel four or five, depending yeah. on which channel it was coming in the clearest yeah. on, and that's just how it was. I was on a game show with uh, Mike Ross and Marlon Ramirez, and really, we lost. What Celebrity what name game? game. Was it? Celebrity <laughs> name game. Craig Ferguson was the host. Oh shit. Hey, I'm going to give you uh, my Courtney number Cox. two, and then I got to pee again because this fucking coffee is running through me, boy. What's your number two? Uh, my number two is uh, everything post-Matrix. So <sighs> y'all talk about the Matrix for a second. I got to pee again. I'm sorry. Dude, like, you're, like, you're giving me post ideas and shit. It's like, oh, damn, I should have thought about the Matrix. Yeah, bro. Talk about fucking disappointments. Fucking the first movie, even though the first movie doesn't hold up well fucking at all. Like I, I rewatched The Matrix about six months ago, dude. And I like, haven't seen it in forever. The, the would have the, been better with Will Smith. No, <laughs> no, because then he he would have took you out of the fucking movie. Like, yeah, you needed you needed a certain amount of dullness for Neo for him not to stand out. Like I couldn't I couldn't imagine um a charismatic Neo. Well, he turned down that movie for Wild Wild West, is the rumor. <laughs> and I rewatched Wild Wild West like two months ago. It is not a good movie. It, no, it, Dude, it, it doesn't hold up at all. Flopped, well, I don't, well, you got to think. I was I was born in 93. Well, yeah, I so, you got to yeah, younger. So man. when Wild Wild West came out, I was like five. So I didn't yeah. fucking know if yeah. it was like a cinematic masterpiece or just some shitty movie with a big fucking spider walking around. And I rewatched it a few months ago, and it is so bad. Which one? Wild Wild West. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. talked about yeah. that. Yeah, great song. <laughs> One of the greatest movie theme songs of all time. Funny wrong? thing about yeah, no, you wrong. don't want to see my hand where my hip be at. I know, I don't. Right. Funny <laughs> thing about the, <laughs> Just um, so the, clear. the big spider. <laughs> if you ever get a chance, um, watch uh, the death of Superman lives. What happens? Um, the documentary by John Schnepp, who unfortunately passed away two oh, years ago. Man, Rest dude. in peace. But and the, um, Kevin uh, Smith was the original writer on the Tim Burton one. Yeah, and the 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 um the producer wanted this big fucking spider, the Thanagarian spider. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw the Kevin Smith story about yeah, that. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, and that's what that's what we was telling it to John Snap. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. 
the guy who produced that movie also produced so um, the beard in the fucking Wild Wild West. Camera. Oh, really? And he got this fucking big spider. Yeah. Oh. He wanted it to be like an It ending. Yeah. Like a big fucking Superman was going to fight this big spider at the end. It was yeah, Nicolas like Cage going to be fighting this big fucking spider. <laughs> oh, that would have been so bad. I would have loved it. Yeah, but the Matrix <laughs> movies were fucking garbage. The yeah, man. Fun. Yeah, that, that's... that's They're doing a fourth one, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Um, they're doing a fourth one. Unfortunately. That's what exactly. The yeah. Matrix. Yeah. It's supposed to come out the same day as John Wick for. Like, yeah, I saw that. It's like, come on, man. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're fucking up the John Wick franchise. Well, they just uh, announced they're doing John Wick 5. Uh, yeah. In space. They're filming them at the me, same time. Like they're going to train. train boxes. Well, I wonder what it's going to be. Yeah. Where's, where's he headed next? <laughs> I never I never got around to watching Parabellum. I didn't watch the third one. Me neither. I love, I, don't get me wrong. I, I, love love the the John, I, I love the John Wick movies. Here's my problem with the John Wick movies. If you watch the first John Wick. Yep. John Wick is a mythic character that people don't fuck with. Sure. You know what I mean? Okay. But you go to the next movies... Everybody's fucking with John Wick. Yeah. Well, like you look at the third movie, motherfuckers coming out of what? Even for yeah, I didn't see the third one. For the most part, even if you get offered a shit ton of money, most people aren't going to take the money because it's fucking John Wick. They're like, yo, we don't fuck with John Wick. These motherfuckers are coming out of the woodworks to fuck with John Wick. And so you took, you took, you kind of nerfed him a little bit when he had like he was the boogeyman. He like amongst the best assassins in the world, he's known as the fucking boogeyman. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Yeah, so you don't get that in the next movie. Don't get me wrong, the next movies are good. It, 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 but yeah, that that's fucking super weird, dude. It's like the same thing with the Matrix, right? Yeah. Like that's how bad the Matrix he's is. The we don't one, talk about it. I know that the first <laughs> the, the first one, you know, like he's not the one yet. He doesn't realize he's the one until the end, and then you know. But there's never. I don't know why you fucking keep on sending agents to fuck with him. Because by the beginning of the second movie, he didn't give a shit. He was just whap, 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 hell yeah, yeah. one handed beat the shit out of three guys. Yeah, and then they just keep sending faceless enemies at him. Like he does a big CGI fight in the yeah. park where he's spinning around a goalpost or some shit. And there's this. Then there's the third one, the fucking rave underground. Drew Carey was probably there, oh, the not one. doing drugs because <laughs> yeah. the price is right. That was the second that's one. The second one. Yeah. They have like a twenty minutes. Yeah, it's, it's, like the love, it's like the love scene and the fucking yeah, yeah. It's a big slow motion rave. Yeah, yeah. Morpheus is out there. Like, are you, are you talking about Will Smith turning down Neo? Yeah. yeah. You know that Sean Connery turned down Morpheus. I did not. Did so let's that's take fucking Sean movie. Connery and Will Smith yeah. and put them in them spots, dude. Interesting. Sean Connery turned down a lot of roles, and I think okay. it's just because he didn't understand them, dude. Sean Connery turned I, I, down Morpheus. He turned down Gandalf. He turned not a, down not uh, a Sean Connery guy. Nope. Nope. Open hand, dude. Not a closed fist. Then he takes, he uh, he some, takes he Alan Quarterman and quits acting hand. after that. Huh? Like um, the exactly. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen yep. um, made him quit acting. I didn't like that movie. He did. It a, made me I quit watching like movies. movies. He did some. I actually like that movie for some reason. He did some independent film after that, but I mean, I, not not. It was probably shot before that. <laughs> that was like Gene Hackman yeah. just some, fucking it's something retired. That he went in and did yeah. after, but he he said, "I'm not doing any more of these Hollywood driven movies. I'm just I'm out because yeah. I'm not that great." Well, that's well, yeah. <laughs> well, Gene James Hackman, Bond, Gene and Hackman then, was what? great, and he just quit fucking acting. He just. But stopped. what did Sean Connery do other than fucking James Bond, dude? I mean, like The Rock. Yeah, I'm about to say, my favorite movie of Sean, uh, Sean Connery is The Rock. Me too. Hands down. Not going to argue with that. Yep. Um, Hands down. And I guess number two is every James Bond movie he ever did. And then number three is probably like the cameo he had at the end of Robin Hood where he comes in as King Richard. Yeah, I'm only Robin like, Hood I I accept is uh, the Disney one with yeah. the fox yeah, yeah, and yeah. Men in like, Tights. Lolly, baby. That's, and Men in that's Tights. That's the number it. one. Is As a movie, movie I love the Kevin Costner one, even though Kevin Costner being the only person in the movie without a fucking English accent. He yeah. used it every now and then. Yeah, he would. He yeah. used it at the beginning. He lost it throughout. <laughs> he pulled it out from yeah. time to time. Every know? now and then, like, you can tell what Chris order. Slater, yeah. You can tell what order they shot the scenes in because at the beginning he's got a great English accent, we just do that. and we then eventually he's just like, "Yeah, fuck." We just it. take that fucking movie and chop the chop it up until yeah. like just because it'll be all out of order. Some of the stuff they shot yeah. at the end. Some of the shit. Another Rushmore podcast right there, man. Worst accents in a movie. Yeah. Probably did it. Probably. probably. Did it. Yeah. yeah. We did that 200 episodes ago. <laughs> he remembers <laughs> them all. Yeah. Like you would go to like Keanu Reeves trying to have an English accent in fucking Dracula. Anyway. Uh, my number two. That's Yeah. My number two is The Matrix because The Matrix is perfect all by itself. When he flies off and fucking Rage Against the Machine, yeah. wake up, yeah. starts. That's it. Walk away. Never do the rest. 
Never do the rest. You don't want to watch him get fucking his brain plugged into by a baby com- baby face computer at the end. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> nah, it's bad. It's bad. It's all bad. You don't want to listen to a bunch of just those not, movies. You want to listen to somebody epitome. use a bunch of words on top of each other and try to fucking throw together a thought. Yeah. D- what? Listen to this podcast. Don't fucking <laughs> don't watch yeah. the the creator scene or the architect scene and listen to them where ergo per se. Yeah, fucking, I remember the uh, those movies were the epitome of style over substance. You remember the movie, uh, the movie, the, the, the skit from MTV Movie Awards back in the early 2000s with Justin Timberlake and Sean William Scott in The Matrix? Yeah, but who, yeah. Oh, I, thought, well, like, I mean, Mr. I remember them spoofing Timberlake. that a thousand times. Yeah. <coughs> Jack Black as Spider-Man. They, they used to have some really good MTV Movie Awards, like those opening yeah. skits and shit. Yeah, they used to be really fucking funny. Yeah, they did, dude. I missed that shit. What's trying to think of one that you know? What's now that we're talking about the movie awards, uh, movie, MTV movie awards? The only thing that I can think of at all though is Bone Thugs and Harmony coming out playing Crossroads and bringing that fucking white chariot out on stage. Yeah, with I yeah. remember that live performance. I don't remember any of the rest of them, but I know I can fucking see somebody sitting in front of a fucking wall of TV screens behind them pretending to be the architect and then making fun of that. Probably have four thousand uh, parodies of Tom yeah. Cruise's. Fucking to the floor scene yeah. from uh oh, from yeah. Mission Lauren Impossible. Lauren hanging from the fucking um Ben Stiller <laughs> did the one hanging from the fucking mountain. My number two is Godfather three. Oh hell yeah! It's so fucking bad. <laughs> that might that should win. No, I got a better one. Not quite. <laughs> I got a better one coming up. That should win. Oh, it's that's so bad. Awful. It's so and two. I think is arguably better than the first. It is. Two so it's almost a perfect movie. Yeah, they, hence the two, the two back to back fucking. They're they're number one and number Oscars. oh they're number two and number three on the IMDb top two fifty and they have been forever and that's all fan votes. Yeah, like yeah. you can get on there and vote for movies. Yeah, from, I mean, I, I mean, love, unless you got multiple email addresses like yeah. we all do. So. Yeah, um, audibletrial.com. So sure. <laughs> if one and two didn't exist, case. three would be a decent movie. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, if you can make up your own one and two that also sucked yeah. a little bit. Yeah. In my head, Goodfellas is the third Godfather. To me, I think Goodfellas <laughs> is the all time yeah. greatest gangster movie. Goodfellas? Yeah. It's my it's maybe my favorite movie of all time. And I like Martin Scorsese's style more than Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. But two is just Godfather Part Two is so fucking good. It's right there with it. Yeah. Yeah. But I I yeah, get a hard for- dick for Scorsese. That that fucking does it for me. Yeah, Goodfellas. I told you. I think I uh, I pulled it off the shelf the other day because I, I got it on Blu-ray, and I just really I just wanted to see what it looks like yeah. Yeah. on Blu-ray. Certain right? movies you shouldn't watch. Certain Blu-ray. movies you shouldn't. This one's fine. You get used to it after a little. I'm used to yeah. all that shit now. I'm numb to it. None of, none of the stuff look. You know how when you first see it in yeah, here it looks, on this it TV, looks like, it looks uh, all like, weird. Like, yeah, like soap opera. Uh, yeah, behind the scenes yeah. stuff on a DVD yeah. or a soap opera or something like that. It's unroasted. Yeah, they said like if you watch I'm, Alien on uh, HD. You can tell they're not in fucking space. <laughs> like it's like it looks like a fucking backdrop, like somebody's hanging a curtain. If you watch it in HD, I yeah. just never watch anything in HD outside of like comic book movies. Or Porn. Shit like that. Just take your glasses off. Then I can't see it at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me either. <laughs> Unless I'm watching it on my phone. Oh yeah, yeah. legally blonde. Twenty four hundred. Let me see yours, and I'm gonna fucking hold them in front of the camera that's on me. I say that Let I didn't wear glasses what, from when I was twelve. This is what the world looks like through. That's not bad. Here, take Prescription it. is twenty four hundred. When I was uh, from when I was twelve until March of this year, I didn't wear glasses and just chanced it. The doctor, whenever I got my eye exam in March, he was like, "So do you have somebody uh, coming to pick you up? Like who dropped you off?" And I was like, "No." And he was like, "Well, you can't drive." And I was like, "I Watch me. drove here. <laughs> <And> I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna unless you're detaining me, officer. I'm yeah. gonna fucking Am I being get detained? the fuck out of here. Am I being Am detained? I being detained? <laughs> yeah. So I fucking, Am I free to go from the doctor? Yeah. I'm like, I'm no. I've been videos. I've been doing this forever. The only reason I got glasses because I went on a Shut cruise. Shut the fuck up, Friday, man. That's today. Yeah. That's today. I went, <laughs> I went on a cruise in March, and I, they do like the huge projector movies on the side of the boat, and you just lay by the fucking pool at like 10:30 at night and yeah. watch these movies. It's on called the, side the ocean. Of the it's not a <laughs> There's pools on the boat. Oh, fuck. you fucking idiot! I've never anyway, been on a cruise, so man. They were showing uh, they were showing Joker, which I thought was cool on a fucking uh, that is cool on a cruise with a bunch of kids. I mean, they showed it at like 10:30 at night, but they just showed Joker on this huge fucking. I mean, literally, it takes up the entire boat, huge projector. But I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to fucking see it if I don't have glasses. I'm just gonna be laying there like, oh man, I can hear it. it sounds like a really good movie. Your eyes closed. I can't fucking see it. So Make up your own. I got them for that, and then I just started wearing them. What's your favorite part of uh? Godfather 2. 
Uh, fuck, I don't know. The whole movie's pretty goddamn good. Pretty, it's a perfect movie. Yeah. Like, there's not a lot of it. No, Goodfellas, it's them fucking cooking. That's the best one. There's too much oh, fucking yeah. garlic in the fucking sauce. I love, uh... <laughs> So good, Goodfellas is is the scene with Joe Pesci and his mother, yeah, and uh, and and De Niro and Ray Liotta, right? When they're when they're all sitting around yeah, the yeah. table and they're telling each other stories, and she's she's the ultimate like she's my grandma, dude. Right. She's my grandma. My uncles and my dad could do no wrong as children. She was well aware of the yeah. hijinks that they were getting <laughs> yes. themselves involved in. But don't you ever say that they were doing anything like right. that because she'll gouge your fucking eyes out yeah. from five feet Gotta tall. She'll come right up at yeah. you. Like, don't you talk about my... I've, I've seen her do it. I've seen her claw the shit out of my little cousin. Like she had these talons, dude. And you didn't talk. You didn't talk yeah. about her kids. Ultimate denial. Her kids never did any wrong. And that's how Joe Pesci's mom was in this. There's, you know, oh, come, oh mom, I'm here, to, I'm here to see you. Uh, I told you it's time. Why don't you settle down, Tommy? Why don't you settle down? <laughs> that's not a bad Joe like, Pesci. That's his mother. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for you to settle down, honey. And he's like, yeah. I love you, mom. I don't want to fuck it. What do you want to go for? I got you. I love you. He gives her a kiss on the head. And fucking, it's such an organic, real moment. She tells this uh, this like anecdote about um, about a husband who's who's always talking or never saying anything, and his wife is telling him to stop the fuck, dude. I can't remember the whole scene ver- verbatim exactly, but she talks about how uh, like it sounds much prettier in Italian. It sounds like a funny, you know, yeah. it's a funnier story in Italian because yeah. of the tone and shit. And I just thought, what an interesting thing to put it. It felt so real, like a real old lady. I mean, I know it was a real old lady. Yeah. It was not CGI. <laughs> CGI old lady <laughs> yeah. from the seventies. How'd they do it? Um, but it was great, man. Goodfellas is fucking spectacular. I watch Goodfellas before I watch any of the Godfather movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. But it yes. don't have a sequel that sucks the way Godfather three does. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the crazy thing. Godfather Three got an Oscar nomination for Best Picture just off the strength of one and two. That's how good those movies were. Like Damn. this terrible movie got an Oscar nomination for Best Picture just because it's in the trilogy with Yeah. Man. Two of the greatest Academy. movies possible. Two of the yeah. greatest yeah. Academy sucks. Fuck they know they don't count the shitty movies. Yeah, it's what it was never real to begin with. Yeah. We did a whole episode about that, yeah. me and Malcolm it's talking fake. about how What's it, which one? Louis B. Mayer. Louis B. Mayer, the third name in Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Yeah. Right? That guy. Right. Didn't want to pay actors. It was all uh, like the, the fucking key grips and the cameramen and yeah. the, the lighting directors and all these guys were all like unionizing and demanding more money. And they realized that like, dude, look, these writers, directors, and actors are all literal artists. They're getting out there and doing things that we can't do. Right. And artists generally will settle for accolades, dude. They'll just, yep. they'll, they'll take the award. Give them an award. They'll be fine. And it worked for a few years. Like Screen Actors Guild wasn't created until far yeah. after that. And they, they, they got away with that shit for, oh, look, dude, we're putting you in this movie and it's going to be up exposure. for Best Picture. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, dude. You're going to get some, you're going to get some serious Trust exposure. Me, I was, in a, I was in, a, in a band. Oh, yeah, just play for the exposure. Oh, yeah, it's nah, the bitch. worst. You carry yeah. my drums for the fucking exposure. Yeah. <laughs> I carried your drums a couple of times, man. Oh, yeah. Is that a fucking shot at me? Nah, it's all right. Just do the podcast for exposure, you dickhead. How many free drinks did you get? I don't know. I didn't drink back then. I was too young. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, I've gotten yeah. the question many I times. I never drank. It was my friends. I'm the host of Price is Right. So. <laughs> I've, got, uh, I've got. We've gotten asked, like, how much did you pay Ari Shafir to come on the show or – how much you pay? I'm like, pay. Lie to hey. him. Tell him lots of a lot. Two million dollars. Yeah, six yeah, yeah. thousand. It was cheap. Yeah. Just be like, we gave him a credit. Fucking, <laughs> 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 we're on his IMDb. He's got now. Audible credit now. He's, he's, he's talking about. He's got some yeah. great books on Audible. That's yeah, we gave him a free trial on fucking BetterHelp.com. <laughs> uh, Blue Chew. Yeah. Hems. Blue Chew. Yeah, it's part of the Roman money we didn't get. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Number one. Number one. What number you one. Got? What you got? Number one. Dude, it's it's actually a toss up because they're they're basically in the same. It's basically in this. It's the same situation. All right, Terminator and Aliens. Everything after the second one. Yeah, I was about to say okay. Aliens and the second Terminator are pretty great. That's what I'm saying. Like, so it's like they're basically almost in the same situation to yeah. the where the first one. I got you. The first yeah, movie yeah. was everything a horror, after was a letdown. 
Yeah, and even even the, the tight movies, like the first movie in each uh, series was a horror uh, action movie somewhat. Yep. And then the second one was a pure action movie. Yes. And then the following sequels were all fucking garbage. Yeah, all those movies collectively. Yeah, pretty yeah that's a lot movie. of shitty movies. Yeah, that's a lot. lots of shit. Hours that's... and hours. Hours. Dude, <laughs> like, Trisha, I, I thought about Pirates of the Caribbean. But yeah, when, when it comes out of these movies, just to, uh, it's like, at least Johnny Depp is good in the Pirates movies. There's nothing redeeming about fucking any of the new fucking Terminator shits. Oh, no, dude. No. That's all cash grabs. Yeah, dude. That's all right after the money. That thing ain't going for nothing else. Um, but yeah, Terminator and Aliens. Are I've be. not, I've only seen one of the new Terminator movies after two. Yeah. It was like, okay, fuck Which this. Which one was uh, Christian Bell where he yelled at the guy? Oh, that's Salvation. And that didn't mind. It's like Salvation could have been good. It was just horribly executed. It's one where he yelled at the guy that got the boom mic in the scene. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like, Salvation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Terminator Salvation. <laughs> that was the best part of that movie. It wasn't even in it. Yeah, that's the best part of the movie. It's not even in the movie. It's a funny clip to listen to and think good. about what a piece of yeah. shit oh, yeah. in his head at the time. I don't know if he's, yeah. you know, if he's a better dude, easier to work with, came out sure. and apologized because I don't care. He right. still gets a lot of fucking I'd work, still, so you would imagine he's not too miserable. I'd still totally watch everything that that great actor does. I was on his side. A lot of people were on the set who... A lot of people on set took it on Christian Bell's side because That's the guy I'm was on Christian Bell's side completely. But also, yeah. also, aren't there going to be people on that set that are like siding with the famous Hollywood actor that's well, definitely sure. working in the future? Well, yeah. But, well, on set, what I'm I mean, saying even if the is, guy's a dick. Yeah. Like, no, what, what I'm saying is, it's like people. Okay. When you look at the whole context of what went down. That guy seemed to have been a fucking fuck up anyway. Yeah, and, they and, said and, he was. It, he walked through one shot. Another one, he was talking. During yeah. the shot, and then another one, he gets the boom mic in the fucking shot. So it was almost like the uh, it's like his third that, offense. Yeah. Okay, I can deal with that. Yeah. I guess either way. Yeah. Either way, he yelled it. It was hilarious. It was. It wasn't a Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> it wasn't a Bill O'Reilly situation. Yeah. It was a fucking we're doing live, Jake. Yeah, that was good. And in my head, I, I, I don't know why you said Bill O'Reilly, and I'm thinking Bill Burr and Philadelphia incident. Like, oh, oh that's also brilliant. That's what I want. Oh Sixteen God. minutes. One of bridge just having ass city. Ass. Yeah. yeah. That was a pipe bomb for that. Yeah. Ass, dude. Whoops. Yeah, you uh, motherfuckers had was... Joe Frazier and you racists put up a statue of Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Fictional boxer. That's good shit, dude. Fuck one, one bridge, bridge having, having ass, ass city. city. <laughs> um, oh, it's so good. Fuck the Flyers. Fuck the Phillies. Yeah, what other kind of fucking yeah, teams fuck you got that are never going to have a championship? Yeah. Fucking get in your Prius and drive off fuck the Fuck the Liberty Franklin. Bell. <laughs> fuck the fucking Liberty Bell. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It is, dude. Let's watch that in a minute. Oh, it's brilliant. After the show. Um, My number one's Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. minus the first one, right? That entire series after the first one. The second one, you kind of start rolling into a good one. But golly, that first dude. one's too fucking good yeah. to have any of that bullshit afterwards be it just stick with it in in that whole series with bring me that horizon roll credits it's over with because that was a fucking perfect movie and it's accidentally perfect it's it's wonderfully put together they did 85 percent of that perfection on purpose and then there's about 15 percent 20 percent at the end that's just so fucking good that you they didn't even know that they were doing have you ever watched the uh the commentary no on you get a chance watch watch Pirates of the Caribbean with the commentary on. Okay, they got they have one with like the director and stuff like that, and they have one with Johnny Depp, yeah, and stuff like that. But basically, Pirates of the Caribbean was such a fluke, and they didn't realize it was gonna make so much money. They rushed one and two, and they wrote them together. Well, you know what the 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 movie that came I mean, out they rushed two and three. You know which movie came out before Pirates of the Caribbean that was based on a Disney World ride? Monsters on uh, 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 Haunted Mansion. Uh, Secret Window. Country Bear Jamboree. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if you've seen it. I haven't seen it. I no. had to look it up. I had to look it up so that I, I would know this. It's terrible. That's bad, too, though. Yeah, That's fucking, it's not good either. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I, it, it Everything feels cash grabby. Everything about the first movie, I feel like Jack Sparrow's got a plan. I feel like it's all all calculated. He's Bugs Bunny in that he movie. constantly changes his plan. He's the Joker, dude. He's the Joker in the Dark Knight where like he don't really have a plan walking in, but he looks around, sees the way things are, yeah. and adapts but instantly, I, that's constantly what I'm saying. Like, changing he's always, his mind. 
um, like ten steps ahead. Like he, um, yeah, he bamboozles jumped, motherfuckers in, yeah. in the first one. Correct. Yeah, right? in the first one. All oh, yeah, the rest of them. Oh yeah, he yeah. just lucks his He's way in. He's relief at that point. Yeah. Hey, he just walks in, ac- accidentally getting shit right. It's like he is the first movie, yeah. accidentally perfect through all yeah. the rest of them. Here, here's the problem: what they did with the, the they they made Jack Sparrow the star of the movie and the the sequels. He was never supposed to be the star of the movie. He was supposed to be, think Mad Max, but a comedy. I mean, a pirate comedy. He's supposed to be that. He person. guides the movie along, yeah. but he's not the focal point. I feel the like the movie also, is its own focal point. Yeah. yeah. Also, a great, a, a fucking kick-ass movie uh, can can use the same things in repetition, right? So, like um, Captain Jack Sparrow repeating. Captain, yeah. after anybody addresses him as ju- just Jack Sparrow, yeah. uh, the worst or best pirate I've ever heard of, but you have heard of me. <laughs> um, what's there's some, there's there's some more that he does. Um, you know, remember this is the day that you almost caught Cap- Captain yeah. Jack Sparrow. All those repeated callbacks that works well in a singular film. But if you're gonna do five more after that, they're gonna gotta, they're gonna get it's gonna get really old really quick. Especially when you make him the focal point of the movie. There's so much. Great callback. Um, Will Turner throws a sword to lock him into the room in the fir- at the at the opening, right? Yeah. And at the end, when he's getting ready to get hung, throws the sword to catch his feet. Yeah. And stop him. You That's know. Called, yeah. And uh, how much fucking it, money did Orlando Bloom make in the mid two thousands? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He was the guy. Pirates, like, he like he was Lord of the Rings. You star. Oh, shit, now yeah. it's like now I would say he's make he's making a comeback because the show uh, Carnival Row is amazing on Amazon. Oh so. yeah. And he's in that, and he's it's pretty funny. You think Johnny Depp's gonna come back? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so because I mean, like, show me something that he really fucking that he personally fails in regard that that has something to do with like, yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody knew he was a fucking party animal. He talks about it. Yeah, he's wide open about that. (laughs) He when he did Hunter Thompson. And that was enough for me to know that, like, oh, this guy is brilliant and yeah. fully owns himself. And yeah, his best not, friend OD'd in front of him. Yeah. So. Yeah, he's not, uh, you know, to, to come out and say, you know, how much I spend on wine and it's a problem for me. Can't yeah. fix it. Yeah. Amber Heard uh, just beat the shit out of him. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why you drink, yeah. you know. Shit you, in his bed. You gotta, you gotta Dude, drink. Now. I did a whole couple of episodes. Uh, in fact, just talking about Harry Potter stuff with Cannon Blue uh, back in the day. And we shit all over Johnny Depp because... I thought that's the way it was. I thought yeah. that I thought that that thought made, he was beating the fuck out of Amber Heard. Everybody, and just piece of shit. everybody, yeah. everybody thought that nope. there was no evidence to the contrary. But it's very easy to yeah. fucking hear the truth after the fact. Yeah, you hear these fucking the court documents and, go, and oh, everything wow. coming out. It's okay. like, oh shit. Yeah, sorry, I said all that. Yeah, preemptively it hangs but out again, with uh, Doug Sanhope a lot. I thought I knew what I thought I knew yeah. is what it is. I yeah. don't know. Doug Sanhope owns his house. Is what it is, Malcolm. <laughs> I know you hate it. This is why I, I always um, I maintain I like before. I make an opinion on anything. Yeah. Like, I'll shut the fuck up. Well, I don't give a fuck about it. I'll make an opinion right now about whatever. And if yeah. I get some new change information, it. I'll yeah. change that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't scared to change my no. opinion, dude. That's yeah. the idea. That's no, no especially, at, especially when that came out. You ain't going to ring a bell and make me salivate. No, no, no. Okay, I make it, up my it, own no, no. mind. Especially in that, in that time, because that, that, that was at the height of fucking Me Too, right? And it was yeah, like, Me part Too. Of it. Yeah. Me Too was. Part was, of the driving force behind it, I think. Me Too was um, starting to become almost like a like a Neo McCarthy era type thing to where no matter what you. It's like, no matter how it was perceived, it was it was a thing. Like, once you saw the thing that happened with Chris Hardwick, yep. stuff like that, it was like, okay, I'm. I'm See the Harvey Weinstein thing what started. What did they say Chris Hardwick did that, uh, or did did? Uh, his girlfriend girl. came out, wrote this big uh, op-ed. Yep. Basically, she didn't use Same any thing names. They just but, did to Crystalia and Brian yeah. Callen. Mm. Basically, saying all the shit, and then fucking uh, Hardwick came with receipts. He had receipts. He had text threats where he tried to leave, and she cheated on him, yeah. and all this shit, and he wanted out, and she was refusing to let him go, and threatening him, and wow. all this shit. But she accused him of being abusive and demanding sex, and. All kinds of shit. And he's like, yeah, that's none weird. of that's true. And here's the proof. Got, and then she was eventually just like, yeah, I made it up. Yeah. And so, because he wow. got fired from, um, from uh, At least what's the fucking, the, yeah, uh, suspended uh, from AMC. Dead, yeah, all the AMC all shit. The, uh, AB, the Wall. Think, yeah. His his game show. Uh, that MTV date show. Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, singled yeah, out. He kicked him off of that. Yeah, he was on Boy Meets World on that show. And uh, <laughs> uh, fucking, he ended up selling fired Nerdist. He, he just completely yeah, left Nerdist. Yeah. And then um, all that shit. And then, you know. All of this Comic-Con stuff yeah. was fucking canceled. Everything like, was done. And then eight months later, they're like, oh, yeah, you can come back, buddy. 
Sorry. It's a hard kind of to dig on, on you got all the the Hardwick's uh, nerd style yeah. and, and treat it as legit whenever, like, you're looking at him back in the day and yeah, he's yeah. definitely not that. He's a fucking jock guy. Yeah. Fucking singled Bro, out. Let me tell yeah. you. you know who his wife is, huh? Y'all familiar? No? No, no, no she, she's the Patty Hearst. Uh, yeah, Liddy Hearst. Yeah. Lydia Hearst. Patty Hearst's daughter. Really? Yeah, she's, yeah. She's, William she's Randolph Hearst's granddaughter. The Hearst, to wow. the Hearst um, fucking. Trillion dollar fortune. Wow. <laughs> Um, yeah, he was like, he was making a joke one time and, uh, on the He's podcast. He's married to the grandchild of a U.S. president? No. William Randolph Hearst is the, what did he do? the newspaper publishing guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah, a married okay. marijuana. Original fucking, original yeah. Rupert Murdoch. Yes. Yeah, that's that guy. Pretty and much. he, uh, <laughs> huge, huge <laughs> okay. fortune. And he was talking about, and then Lydia's a, a model and she, he married her a couple of years ago. And he said something like, how fucking cool would it be like if we had like a detective movie that was like James Bond meets Batman and they had a movie together. And one of his guests is like, you know, all it would take is somebody to buy those two properties and make that movie. And you can do that now. <laughs> He's right. like, oh, shit. <laughs> he was like, my wife can buy Batman. <laughs> He's like, that's so fucking weird to have that kind of money. Yeah, that is. That is He's strange. like, oh, I could just make that happen. I could just change the world. And all, just of fucking- sudden, all of a sudden, that little drop down on yep. Amazon, that the quantity when you're adding to your car, yeah. it's just like, <laughs> it's a whole bunch of extra numbers you on know, the bottom he, of there now. He has all <laughs> kinds crazy. of. crazy. Like, like, he has the uh, Lord Helmet. He has the actual helmet. Uh, all kinds of shit, like signed by Mel Brooks. He's got all these crazy fucking. That's Star cool, Wars man. shit. That's He's got all these props that are the originals from the movie at his fucking house. Yeah. Nah, maybe he was just fucking nerd lurking, trying to make a paycheck at the beginning of his career. And yeah, and then actually was like, oh, this shit's pretty cool. Yeah, everybody's well into nerds, because that's what, man, a lot of people did it. A lot of people yeah. did it. A lot of people fucking hid their nerdiness, you know, had that shit tucked away. Nobody mm-hmm. knew about it. Yep. And then all of a sudden... That's why I'm proud of my nerdiness, man. Like, even in high school, dude, it's like... I was a 16-year-old kid. Anytime we go to fucking Walmart, dude, I'm going down to Toy Al, or I'm wearing fucking Marvel shit to fucking school. This is mid-90s. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, nerd was Nerd like, hipster. Every, everybody. everybody <laughs> yeah. Everybody. I was a nerd know, before it was cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was a nerd when it was, it was cool just- cool before it was nerd. You couldn't, yeah. you, you couldn't make money. Like, if you played video games, you were that dude in the fucking basement. But now it's like, you're fucking supermodels if you're a video game yeah. player. I don't know. I think that's another thing, too, right? Like, that was a- uh, That was a- pop culture stereotype that that laid over from before we were kids because like i don't know born in 83 and then by the time the 90s rolled around you know and super nintendo was out yeah brother the, playing, the idea but... of nerdiness over that shit was like just either just fine or you it wasn't, yeah, it depends it wasn't on what negative anymore yeah, yeah. yeah. well 64 like, was I had like a bunch of buddies yeah. that were like dude mortal Kombat." i'm gonna say nintendo 64 because yeah, like, i'm younger than y'all but 64 and playstation 1 was considered fucking cool yeah like you were cool if you had that right shit. yeah my buddies wanted to come over yeah and play. If you didn't play golden you were a fucking dork yeah right yeah that's true yeah. i think this is it but it, it's again it's like in the movies, nerds were still yes, nerds. That's and the fucking jocks were still jocks. And man, we grew yeah, man, past that like a, a long main, time ago. Mainstream it, look, um, feel of the nerd was still that. And now you have somebody like Joe Mag- uh, Manganello, who was an ambassador for fucking pedophile. D&D. Is he? No. Oh, I'm about to say. <laughs> He's an ambassador for. One of these pedophile things is going to land at some point. <laughs> so you yeah, have, we have a fucking call to yeah. the podcast moment. You have this big fucking dude. You have this big dude, big athletic looking dude playing D and D, and he's fucking Sophia Vergara. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, dude. Like nerd culture. That's and that's the bad thing about nerd culture because once it became mainstream, you have all these fucking normies come in trying to change it because they want. See, that's it though. You fucking normies. You yeah. you you create a line. You dividing the crowd. No, no, no. You're dividing the crowd. Let Freddie no. Prince Jr. play games. Yeah, bro. No, no. Everybody can play Don't be games. Mad at Mark Marone. Everybody Marone. can play games. Yeah. Is it Marin or Marone? Mark Marin? Yeah. Marin. It's Marin. Marin. Okay. Yeah. He's not a nerd at all. <laughs> yeah, he's he probably is, never he? played a game. No. He's well into D and D. Oh no, no, no. No, you sure? Not he Mark talks Marin. Shit, like Mark Marin talks yeah, shit, no, yeah, shit he, about he nerds. He talks shit about Who nerds. Who am I getting confused with? Confused with? I don't know, I don't man. Know, I would I, well, Mark Marin, it, it was him they were talking the about. Guy it was, that it runs was Mark Marin and fucking uh, um, Scorsese talking about fucking Marvel movies and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the interview where they were like, "These are pointless. This isn't. These aren't fucking." Cinema. I mean, t- t- being like, fucking. Shut the Mark Marin hates everything. I think part of what they're saying is not completely wrong. Yeah, his girlfriend. Yeah, they're more of event movies, but at the same time, their mindset on it understandable i get what they're saying yes because these guys aren't you know that the compare to compare the godfather to yeah. iron man 3 
you know. And then no, 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 absolutely. Yeah. One of and them then is isn't a Joker and actual going to get an film, Oscar, and one of them's like a reason to eat popcorn with your nerd buddies. It's a little ironic that Mark Maron then is in an Oscar-winning fucking Joker movie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I mean, but even that, even that, like we talked about this right after we saw it, man. Did a whole show about the Joker, and man, what a fucking phenomenal movie! But wasn't it? Didn't feel comic booky. Like I hated it. I prefer. I prefer, I prefer why, Suicide why, Squad. I, I, I hate that's why I hate the fact that they're talking about doing a sequel to the Joker. It's like no, because if you do a sequel, you have to make a comic book. Yeah, I hate a Joker. I like Suicide Squad. Realistic. I want the Jared Leto Joker, and that's shut that's up. It. That Jared Leto never played. We'll give Joker. you the Jared Leto Joker, but yeah. in that movie, just yeah. a straight up Joker movie. Batman's not in it. Yes, there's no no, no one's in it. It's, it's like the Martian. Him. He's by himself. <laughs> yeah, I want the Joker right. on Mars, and Jared it's just Leto Jared Leto. The Joker? What are you talking about? Uh, it was in a thirty seconds. Thirty seconds to Mars. Uh. Music video. He played the Joker. Oh, he was. You probably haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. Right on. American Psycho Two would have been a good pick for this. I'm not going to go with that. I remember that. Seen it. It's Mila Kunis is the American Psycho. She's the Patrick Bateman character. Get out of here. Swear to God. Oh, that does sound made up, but I swear to God, Mila Kunis is in college and she starts killing her professors, and she's the Patrick Bateman character. Does yeah, she, now, now I want to watch it. Does she even play, if it's oh, it's, gonna score, she score. play him and he Real got bad. a sex change and now he's Mila Kunis? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no. I'll watch that. <laughs> no. That sounds good. My number one's Rocky Five. Okay. Mm, I wouldn't. That's Tommy Gunn. Oh, yeah, that's right? Tommy yeah, Gunn. Okay, yeah. Fake tits, yeah. AIDS, yeah, okay. Tommy Gunn. Yep. That's, that's the it. only Rocky that doesn't exist. Yeah, that one's the worst <laughs> by far. Rocky Balboa is not great. It's not perfect. And I would be honest, like Creed, the first one. I like the, the first, first one. one. I didn't the see second, the second one. The second one, not so much. I didn't watch the second, second one. Did but the second the first one even come out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out. It wasn't. Ivan Drago's son and. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't, yeah, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it either. But the first creep was pretty good. Rocky Balboa is whatever. I like one, two, three, and four are fucking great. There's a little bit great of movies. A, yeah, three's a little campy, still six, real fucking good. Six should have been five. Five never should. I agree. Exist. Five shouldn't have and existed. And then it should have went to Creed. Five's so goddamn bad. Which one? And I think four is the best five's out of the five entire is your series. Pick, right? Five's the worst. Okay. Yes. Four is my favorite Rocky, bar none by far, miles away. I think one's it, real fucking good. We could four keep is my it Stallone and say I think one that fits in that same category is everything after Rambo, Rambo. everything yeah. after First Blood. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like it, it, that's such a think PC, oh, well two, done, though. put together. First, uh, yeah, I but it's two. fucking just doesn't hold no, they, the it, the same kind of message. It's a totally value. different tone. Yeah, but the, and the, and that's the thing with the Rocky movies. What happened was like if you look at all of Stallone's early movies. They were serious fucking movies. They were, they were more about they were more about the characters more so than the action. Yes, the character yeah. development in Rocky's great. The well, original, yeah, in the in the first two, yeah, yeah. those were those were critically acclaimed movies. Yes, three on became spectacles and, yeah. and action movies. Well, I yeah. think four is the best, but one and two are both real fucking good. Three is really good. Four for is what my it is. favorite. One is the best movie. That's fair. I will. I'll accept that. Three is a lot more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll accept Shit. that. Yeah. <laughs> three is. Uh, it's a lot more camp. It's like a commercial of a Rocky movie. Yeah, three is. Yeah. It's still good. It's entertaining. Yeah. But it's not like a Superman fucking. Three. It's yeah, not blowing your fucking Hulk dick Hogan, in the dirt. Mr. T. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Thunder Lips. Yeah. Hulk Hogan, Mr. T. Mr. T. My prediction is pain. That's worse. That's worse than Superman four, three, and four. Really. Yeah. Fucking build Which a one wall. did Dean Cain take the shots and fucking? That's not. You know, talking about we're sitting at a bar. You're, oh, that's three. That's the show or the three. That's, that's the three. show. Three. That's that's when he he he's, um. He's sitting at the bar and he's all depressed. Yeah. He takes a fucking shot. And he and uses he his heat to... ray to fucking bust the bottles at the bar. Yeah, yeah. And he's all he depressed. And he's in a full Superman get up and he's just fucking sad as then shit. He becomes Clark Kent and Superman. Yeah. And so feels... basically, it's supposed to be kind of that's like that's one of my favorite like gifts ever. It's just watching Superman fucking slam some Jameson and bust some bottles. When he fucking builds that wall. That's the fourth one, right? When no, you build the wall. He builds... Hashtag build the wall. He builds a wall. <laughs> yeah, this is Trump endorsement. Uh, he builds a wall with his with his vision. When the fuck did Superman was he ever able to build a yeah like Green Lantern manifest shit manifest yeah. bricks right he yeah. Green Lantern a fucking wall <laughs> yeah I don't with his, which one was was that three I think it's four rest in peace Herman Cain yeah nine 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 man uh, nine 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 <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Five oh no see the the, 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 the things the worst rest in peace Tommy Gunn oh it's definitely the worst I don't think that's oh, a yeah yeah, that, yeah rest in peace Tommy Gunn and they didn't even box they had a street fight. Dude, they in that movie, like in, yeah, in the bubble, it's the worst. It's the worst. It's worse. And than Don I, Kane is driving him around in the bubble. They they considered not selling Rocky Five in the freaking Rocky bundle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, did y'all ever see the picture of Tommy Gunn with the fake tits and? Mm-mm. Yeah, he got he got boobs later on in life. Did but then he? he got yeah. 
Uh-huh. He ended up getting AIDS. He passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Before that, was he a beautiful... He was a good-looking dude. He was a good-looking dude. Beautiful yeah, woman. that's how he got the role. He, he wasn't was a good fucking actor. He was the Brian Bosworth of fucking boxing at, yeah. a, at a point. Mm-hmm. And then one, one loss in his career went to fucking shit just like Brian Bosworth. Tommy yeah. Gunn in that movie reminded Great name. he reminded me of uh <laughs> what's the fucking idiot that fought Tyson that acted all ridiculous oh um um what's I was just name? watching that um what the fuck is that guy's name the that guy was, that was all hey, fucking PCP'd up and I don't know was he maybe he was which one are we talking about this is the first fight um when Tyson got out of jail um something from Bedford Mass he was like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're thinking the same yeah, press yeah, conference yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who that. That's oh my who god! Tommy why can't I think of who that is? About. I'll show it to you. I when was we just get watching. Done. That. Matter of fact, I was just watching. This He's got morning. some of the worst banter, like way. It's not the really tall dude, is it? Tall, big, big white boy. Where? Yeah, where's Out the pinky ring? Nah, I don't know. Mike Tyson's like, you sound real tough over there. You're not. You don't sound as tough as your friend with the pinky ring over there. <laughs> God, because I was just watching that. Matter, I was just watching that video this morning. He's like, I'm gonna. Well, the guy I'm thinking of is Irish. Cause he's like, I'm yeah. gonna hit him with that's him. I'm gonna hit him with the heart of Ireland. He's like, you don't sound as tough as your friend with the pinky ring over there. Guy? Where's my phone? I'll find it. I was just watching. Has everybody that this done a number one crazy. already? Huh? Has everybody done a number one already? Mine was Rocky Five. You're yeah, the only one. Yeah, no, Did that's you number it. one already. Yeah. yeah. Also, I was gonna say Final Fantasy X too, but I didn't want to start a whole thing. Mm, I was gonna say Super Mario Brothers too, but that's actually got some solid platforming yeah. in it. And I Super like Mario it. World it's is a, a great game. sequel. Yeah, I love that fucking game on Super Nintendo. What's the worst Super Mario game? Oh, I didn't man. play them all. So, like, if you're talking about the actual games, yeah, yeah I was about to say because yeah. I don't like anything after Mario Kart. 64, yeah, I'm not talking about like fucking like Mario Tennis there. or Mario yeah, Golf yeah. or something or like that. Mario I mean, Party. Mario yeah. Party, Super Mario Six. something that ain't party. Yeah, I'll take uh, Mario Three, dude. Worst people no, no, love oh, Mario I, I, Three. I was at worst. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah I'm about to say yeah, that's, that's everybody's worst. favorite. Yeah, I'm about to say like I remember staying up as a kid, dude, getting that game on a Friday. We went to bed on Sunday. Yeah. Well, I used to play the shit out of Super Mario World. That's my favorite. It's oh, the yeah, most. World. It's just the most intuitive. Come back on. Come back on here uh, a couple weeks, and we'll do a. Do soup. not. We'll do a. Do what? not tell me what to do. Okay. Never mind. No, we'll right, do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do, yeah. uh, let's let's do some rank rank the video games lists. That'll be our our pop nutshell style listicle. Since we can't fucking top four some stuff, we will just have to. Yeah, do yeah. Y'all should just do a much. top three. <laughs> nah, man, yeah. we're gonna have top five. Top five. We'll call it Rush Most. Oh, shit. <laughs> Boom. I need to rush less. Boom. Did you hear my uh, Rush Snore idea? It was brilliant. Rush Snore? Yeah. No, but it sounds funny already. Yeah, Pepper. So we're talking about starting a Patreon, which I'm adamantly against, and uh, I just don't like the idea of asking people for money, like putting a payroll. Ask. Yeah, don't ask. Tell, in fact, tell people yeah. actively not to do it. I mean, we haven't That's done probably it. What I'm, I'm not knocking do. you, but I always, I always assume that when we start ours, yeah. I'm just gonna be like. Hey, we'd appreciate it, but uh, you don't have to if yeah. you don't want to. There's just so much free shit out there. Everything yeah. that we're gonna, everything we're gonna put out is always gonna be available. See, that's what Pepper doesn't want to do, though. He wants to put shit behind the paywall. Other people are gonna actually like, pay, they can get pay the regular episodes content. free, and nah, then they gotta pay that. for content. I don't like that. And uh, the rush snore Pepper, was idiot. like we call each other at night when we're laying in bed and just talk about nothing for like 15 minutes and put it out and that's call it rush idea. snore. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Call and wake each other up. Yeah, and then he was going to do like a short (laughs) conspiracy show with somebody else, and I was going to do a wrestling podcast with somebody else and just put out like short little fucking mini episodes on there. Rest rest more? Rush, Uh, yeah. Rush Limbaugh. Rush. (sighs) There's something there. We'll find it. Rush Rush by Paula Abdul. That's a song. (laughs) Rush. Yeah, Keanu Reeves is in that video. Is he? Yeah. I host trivia in that. No, it's Keanu Reeves. I asked that trivia question this past Thursday. Anybody get it? Celtic Irish Pub, 7 o'clock. Anybody get it? No. I thought that was, I thought that was the one with Sean Penn in it. Uh. Uh-uh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's what everybody wrote down. Sean yeah. Penn as an answer. Yeah. <laughs> He's like wrong. Yeah. I just <laughs> sticked at it. No, like just... it's right here. I'm watching him. Like it's not it. It's not the one. I'm talking about the Keanu Reeves one. And, and, oh, I can't find it. They pulled it. That, that's what you call it. Yeah. yeah. It's called the Mandela effect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was thinking of the Matrix. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm done. Final Fantasy X, by the way, is my second favorite game. Two of all time. hours and two minutes. Second? Yes. Favorite game of all time? Ocarina of the Time is number one. Oh, yeah. Ocarina. I think that's every place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be. Did you pick a worse Mario? Did I pick a worse Mario? I, would, I guess it would have to be with. two, and it's still good. They're all good. Two's fine, but that's it's the just problem. the, the it's, least like everything exactly. else. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah, so probably two, because three's really fucking good. Super Mario World's brilliant. Yeah, I'll have to go with two. Yeah. And it's I not even a knock. They're all good. We played Odyssey. Like two, there, was, there was no Koopa. Super Mario 64 is cool because you can throw the penguins off the ledge. 
That's always fun. I Super Mario Sunshine 64. was cool. That was cool. A uh, little water jetpack. Then you had to. Now I have to play the new one that's on fucking Switch right now. Is it Odyssey or uh, yeah. Galaxy? Odyssey. There's two. For I think yeah. the first one that came out is Odyssey. I think those are direct sequels to one another. Right. One of them is a direct sequel to the other. I just I played the shit out of fucking uh, Breath of the Wild though. Yeah. I and loved it at first, and then it has, so, no, it has no replay value. So. We sold our Switch to some relatives because they wanted one, and we never touched it, dude. Yeah. It sat here. It just fucking sat here, just like that VR. I'm I've never even bitch, seen too. one. I don't I think it, they're real. I bought it on one. Switch? Yeah, I've never uh, seen we one. We have another one here, but uh, it's, a, it's a regular little handheld. Also, just, Mario, just a, pedophile. Mm, pedophile. Luigi's a pedophile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? John no, Leguizamo. John Leguizamo is definitely a pedophile. Waluigi. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Come on, dude. Don't, Johnny Legs? That's not a real thing. <laughs> no, okay. That movie, that didn't really happen. Yeah, Bob Hoskins. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I just watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit the other day. You know, also for, doesn't hold up that great. Like, it's okay. For a guy that could do that, though, yeah. to be as off-put as he was by making yeah. the Super Mario movie, yeah. but he could act against a rabbit that wasn't there yes. and get like, Christopher Lloyd's have his dick movie. grabbed by a Jessica Rabbit that wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. there. and right. Well, that's why Nintendo, like, after that point, Nintendo vowed never to do any third party shit again. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. Make their own stuff, dude. Give me a Mario. But that's probably going to change. CGI though. Mario yeah. movie. I'll take that. That's just... I watched the John Leguizamo movie the other day for the first time. Son of Sam. That was good. good. Summer of Sam. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah. Spike Jones. Spike Lee. Sure, it's not Sam. <laughs> Spike Sun, Lee. Son of Sam. Yeah. Son of Sam is the killer. Summer of Sam is the movie. Yeah. And if you mm-hmm. only watch some of the movie, it's called Son of Sam. Right. John Leguizamo, like, it's like he makes some dumb choices, man. But at the same time, anytime he's in something, dude, well, yeah, the pedophilia is a fucking good. stupid choice. <laughs> really not, stupid choice. No. You still just throwing him yeah, out no. there. <laughs> yeah. Something's dark. gonna stick. <laughs> LA there's, Times is going to be writing an article. There's a huge wall yeah. in front of him. Not a target. Not a target. Just a huge wall. Yeah. And it says pedophile. And he's got darts with names on them. Yep. One of these motherfuckers. The yep. And people are like, you know, that's not how that works. Exactly. Yes, it is. Don't you tell me. Don't you tell me. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's our list. I, th- I don't know if I gave you four or not. but I think so. You gave us four. You gave us four. Because I went last. And I went with Rocky Five. So. Yeah. Your four were. Um, you had Attack of the Clones. I'm satisfied. All right. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Indiana Jones Crystal Skull that was horrible it's real bad Transformers 8 when you say that the first Indiana Jones uh, the, or the, the last one before that also well yeah um, not great um, like I like Raiders and I like Temple of Doom yeah and then um, Everything Crusade else. Yeah. Was, was a letdown just last because Crusade. the first two because so Sean good. Connery was there yeah. Yeah, Sean yeah. Connery, pedophile. No one pedophile. Fucked it all up. <laughs> but he uses open hand, not a closed fist. That's yes. a real thing, though. Well, if you hit him with a sack of oranges, it doesn't leave a bruise. <laughs> sack of strawberries. Oh, yeah. Bing Crosby. If you hit fucking hit That's him with a sack of strawberries. Yeah, he beat his kids with oranges. Yeah. Yeah. Pedophile. I'm not starting that room. He is a pedophile, but uh, that's a true thing. Not Great the pedophile Sager. thing. Well, maybe. But, but he's a pedophile. the you oranges. He did beat the shit out of his kids with no oranges. way to know. Gets the job done, never leaves a bruise. <laughs> when, on the camera, on the, on the video here that's in front of me that you guys can't see. You're on this side, but when I turn my head, I look that way. That's so on the video, it's going to look like I'm talking to you, you're but inverted. I'm looking at Thomas. <laughs> and now I'm talking to Thomas, but I'm looking at Malcolm. You're like, Malcolm's just answering for that motherfucker. Weird, Every right? time maybe ask Thomas something. I ask you a question. Yeah. Is he making fun of cockeyed people? <laughs> Cancel, Cancel it. Cancel it. Yep. Cancel. Cancel it all. I uh, love you guys. Fucking whatever you're watching this on, subscribe here and then subscribe to all our other stuff. Rushmore Jeez. Podcast. Uh, oh, this is your episode. How are we going to use them on both both things, Just right? Put them both out. Okay. Just send me the shit, and I'll put it out on ours. You put it out on yours. I'm not doing that. All right. Who gives a fuck? Just send it to me. I'll put it out on mine. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, rest in peace, George Michael. He's dead already. Yeah. Well, rest you in peace You got to call still. it. Oh, call it? Easy. Yeah. Easy. Rest in peace. I said easy. I, I actually killed yeah, Aretha Franklin. Literally doing this. right behind easy, and then you just. I killed Aretha stop. Franklin doing this, so I'm trying to be picky. I don't. I've got to pick somebody that I don't mind if they die. Rest in peace. Tobey Maguire. Rest Clay in Aiken. peace, Brie Larson. Brie Larson, Tobey Maguire, and Clay Aiken. Your fucking days are numbered, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'm done. I love you guys. I love you too, man. Later.